That was a word he used a couple of times. Maturity for Quinn Ewers, who will throw it on first down. Jordan Whittington and this veteran receiving core there. Because of just how quickly he gets the ball out and how many weapons he now trusts. Wow, that's a big number, Brock. This is Xavier Worthy. Edgewater High School as they try to replace both B. John Robinson and Roshan Johnson. Quinn Ewers flushed out of the pocket. He tucks it. He slips. He tries to reach, and he's not going to get there. Well, that's the right read. And at 195 pounds, there was no hesitation there. He decides to go, but unfortunately, those rubber pellets, <laughs> there's a lot of them that Allison was talking about. Well, he's... Man to man. Ewers flips it and incomplete. On the scramble, this was actually, well, it looked a little bit like a, a two-point play that they were practicing yesterday. You have everything you want. Give Rice credit. I mean, you see Conti there, the senior linebacker, in the face of Ewers, but that's one you got to hit. In fact, Jason, he didn't miss yesterday. Friday was a perfect practice. The ball should be some answers this afternoon. Ewers to throw, lofting it toward the sideline, and a from Quinn. He gets this ball out early. It's just a shade behind Worthy, but you see the veteran make it look good. Right, a young receiver coming out of an outcut may not flip out of production out the door. Donovan Brooks the tailback here. That's a throw for Ewers. Worthy, oh, soft shoot to the sideline. <laughs> Breaking route is a DB. Once you see that receiver cut that split into the hash mark, should be a little bit of a tell, and that's just pitch and catch. Something that those two did more this summer than they ever had before. Two, he says he might be able to run a 4-2-40 at some point down the line. That's what he says. Ewers to throw in some traffic. He's got worthy again. A little bit more play action. Once again, excellent timing. Somebody in Ewers' face. It doesn't matter. He stands right in the well face to face contact there to stand and deliver. Second down and 10 for Texas. Quinn Ewers back at the controls. He will roll and spin and throw it for Jonathan Brooks. And the sophomore tailback is gone. Touchdown, Texas. He loves the pre snap motion as much as anybody in college football. You can see the eyes of the defenders there. It confuses them, and on top of the motion, you then throw it back to a screen, and look at the big men get out in front. Jonathan Brooks' first career touchdown were against these Owls two years ago. He saw nothing but pay dirt right there. All physically, and then emotionally. And with the hair being lopped off, that's just some of the weight of the world of expectations lopped off as well. Moving on from high school to college, is here is Adonai Mitchell, the transfer from Georgia, who they love because of his ability to make critical plays late. Ewers first down, scanning, launching deep ball, sideline, jumping try worthy. And here is the deep ball, something that Quinn's really been working on to get a turnover. He's just late. Xavier had fresh B. Give Fresh a ton of credit. Third year starter. Got beat up as a freshman in here two years ago. Gets right in. And build those relationships. And continuity and coaching is part of that as well. They've had basically the same coaching staff. Down he goes here. And they struggled, according to Kyle Floyd and Steve Sarkeesian, because their straight pass protection wasn't good enough. That's a four man rush, and you can see the Rice Owls there collapse it. And then the effort from Coleman Coco, who every Rice defender said is a difference maker, man. Relentless, does not things that have to improve in 23 for Texas. You saw the run pass split there. Sark even, it seems, is interested in where they end up run pass. They've thrown it a lot early. There's Worthy again. More balanced run and pass. Sark, thanks for the time. Thank you. Jason. Back-to-back -back runs, Allison, leading to that conversation. And this throw to Jordan Whittington inside the 15. To a defense, and especially one look at the second level they all sink on that run game got to stop the run first and then the little run pass option and the zipped in little slant right behind it 60 percent of his catches last year went for 10 or more and a clean game in terms of the first quarter here 
Ewers on the roll. Quinn Ewers a pump fake, and he'll just tote it out of bounds. And Steve Sarkeesian said he's got to come to life here down in the red zone. Off the motion by Worthy. Ewers this way incomplete drop by Brooks. Scheme to just get a one-on-one. -on -one. You saw this from Colorado. First touchdown of the Deion Sanders era. Almost the same kind of play. And you get a wide open protector at left tackle in in the run game. He didn't give up a sack. But when they got here is the offensive line. 17 scholarship offensive linemen on their roster right now. Viewers felt the pocket breaking down. He will throw on the move to the sideline. This catch, and he has a little words for Jordan Whittington. And there's nothing Jordan could do here. He's just flying in. But I think if Jordan doesn't bring and attract his defender, Jatavion, saying, bro, I was going to go up and make a highlight play touchdown. Not an unfortunate third and 18. Did you get an A? Yes. Of course you did. Third down, 18. Ewers down the middle, and that is incomplete. To it, it was high red zone, if that. And you could see the slingshot out of Quinn Ewers' hand. Just a beautiful ball, but much, much better. Absolutely go score six here and change the momentum further. It's play action. They love it. Ewers scanning, rolling. Ewers out of the pocket. He goes sideline, and that is worthy on the edge. There is a marker down. Was he out of bounds before he caught that ball? Yeah. Illegal touching offense. The receiver stepped out of bounds on his own, reestablished inbounds, and was first to touch the pass. The ball replaced at the previous spot. Loss of down. Second down. They did exactly what you talked about. They wanted to take that. It was an intermediate shot. Seventh target already today to Xavier Worthy. What he's thinking and playing against him. We'll see what this drive looks like. Ewers, a quick set and throw, and it's Xavier Worthy into some space to the 20-yard line. The more Deshaun Jackson comes to mind to me. A six-foot, 170-pound guy, but a long strider. Right, many times the long striders are the J.J. Stokes, right? The big receivers. He, he's what? 170 pounds. Soaking wet. And everybody here is soaking wet. As you said, it's 100 degrees. And the crowd looking for a reason to expend some energy. He was backpedaling and he is down. Gonna be my left tackle. Look at the coverage first and foremost down the field. This is what Quinn is looking at. Players knocked down, guys in assignment, eyes in the backfield, and look at the left tackle. Did Kelvin Banks just give up the second sack of his career? It's third and four. It's to the opposite of what Rice got in the last drive. Down. We'll get into that later. But that slingshot, man, does he get it out in a hurry to the short game. Arm angles galore for Quinn Ewers. This is a deep ball with some air under it down the sideline. And incomplete for Worthy. He ran out of real estate. This little breeze. The tail end of it, I mean, Worthy has got him beat. That's the play that is going to send 100,000 people through the roof. Well, there is no roof. <laughs> He's clearly out of bounds, and that ball just... Quick set and throw. It's Whittington, and he has stood up and stopped. Once again, this is Adnai Mitchell on the outside. We saw it on the fourth down play. That is a better play by corner to show the kind of explosion. But you wait... Down and eight. Ewers climbing the pocket straight ahead. First down. As well. Now he was not going to be denied. Stumbled earlier. Knows that it's pressure. And once you see the depth of that coverage, you know down in distance there was going to be no sliding. He was didn't see much of that a season ago. Feeling better movement-wise. This is the tight end, Gunner Helm, with a Texas team that has aspirations of the college football playoff. Trying to land a big punch at the end of this first half. Ewers again goes down. The ball came out. Now there was a whistle. So the question is, uh, the was it dead? The runner was down prior to the ball coming loose. A tremendous stunt. You're going to see Piercy come clean through. He definitely goes for the ball. It is moving. Then Quinn retucks it, and he's down. Yeah, that's the right call, especially in a bank-bank play. Well done by the officials here. But I will say this, 
Rice is Rice has forced communication issues. Call it third and nine. Keelan Robinson, the tailback. Ewers on the screen. It is Robinson. He breaks the tackle. He's got a first down to about the. And they're going to spike it, try and run a put up defensively today, but offensively out of sorts. Pressure again. And incomplete. It's again. Right, you're going to see the late stunt here, and it's just some of the communication. Right? You've got two. you got a back chipping on an end. You've got a free runner coming. I mean, that's not seven or eight guys. That is five guys with six in protection. You have got to communicate. Third and ten. They got to get this ball out and get down, and they do. Seven plays. After this play, I'm going to ask you a possibly cynical question. You ready? First, this throw. It gets to the outskirts and worthy. Again, a dance move. And a first down. Any chance? Second down, short set. Uh oh. <laughs> Not bad for a defender that's... back in the day when you could actually hit people in the helmet. But that is a. Oh, that's more of a mascot sticker. Right between. Third down. Ewers up the pocket, right up the zipper. First down, he gets hit hard. Hey, Bale, look at the two linebackers' face masks. They turn away. And once Quinn Ewers sees their back, and that amount of space, go get that first down. As a defender there, you have got to show eyes a little bit longer than that. You cannot just turn your back. But when Ewers will be more on time, a little bit more ahead with the why of play calls and situations. Here he gets it away for Worthy again, who has had a massive afternoon. And Texas has another first down. The action with Sarkeesian loves more than anything else in his game plan to run it in play pass because look at the movement of the defenders. How it creates just space, and then when you got a smooth stepping dude like Worthy, look at him. He is just so sweet with those feet moving at that pace. Extend plays with your legs and your eyes still downfield for six. The Sanders in motion. Ewer is to throw down the middle. And an on Mitchell touchdown. Some uh, sweet feet. There were some sweet feet on the outside, but look at all of these defenders for Rice. The heavy, heavy run action. Just a one man route out there. And that one on one on the playground and for Adonai Mitchell, and that's what he wants to be called no longer. See also Georgia and Alabama. And when you could play 12 dudes and you defeat the line of scrimmage, you often win. Right down the middle. Jatavion Sanders is free. And a touchdown. drive not this time and they catch rice right been some tough miscommunication some of those blitzes have gotten home uh, not that time Jatavian gets his head around Quinn puts it on throws it 80 yards and then just trying just pressing right just wanting to do a little bit too much and say oh the game come to you Years off his back forehead and he throws it up for Mitchell that is incomplete. One bit of nitpicking today. It is going to be these throws with air yards beyond 20, 25 yards. You can hear the remaining hometown faithful. That's a penalty. That defensive back is certainly there early. Lamont Narcisse getting into the body and impacting Mitchell's opportunity. The Houston native blue on that first down run. Now Keelan Robinson checks in. And Ewers over the top near side. Whittington. And you can watch it's as pretty as any ball in college football with that spiral that comes ripping out of there. Look at it. Just gorgeous. It's the deep balls. It's the shots that have been 25, 30, 40 yards down the field. About four of them today. We saw the signalers getting the play in. Still working hard in the heat over on that sideline. First and goal. Brooks the tailback. And Ewers keeps it. A little more to work with. A little more elusive. One rushing touchdown all last season. <laughs> and you can see the guys at Rice. Oh, the big guys are just worn down, man. So here comes Quinn Ewers. Talked about the new look. He says it was a life-changing offseason. Really transformed himself. More command, more leadership, more camaraderie with his teammates. Some, some 
Rallies that might have been slightly missing a little bit a year ago. Well, I, I think taking over a lot of pressure in his first year is the, the weight of the world on him. And he got through it. But I think Sark naming him with Arch Manning coming in, the starter at spring, I think really helped his confidence and took him to another level in the summer. A few backfield, three receivers stacked up to the left. And they get to C.J. Baxter, the true freshman back who was knocked out. Tonight against Nick Saban's defense, like movements like that, make this defense have to communicate and adjust. They take it to Baxter, pitch it to Xavier Worthy, and the speedster knocked down after a short to the right now. They don't pressure yours. He's got some space. Can he get there with his legs? Yes, scrambles and dives. That is the new athleticism. You look Play action. Ewers has plenty of time, scans and checks it down to the tight end. Jatavian Sanders, the ball comes out, a scramble for it. And it looks like Texas may have retained possession. How quickly that ball came out. Again, good job by Alabama taking away any options downfield. He just has to check this down. Bill, what do you think of that? The play's under review right now. They're being buzzed for it. They got to look to see did he have time to make a football move? Did he have firm control? My gut reaction is incomplete pass. He's starting to tuck it away. The ball is kind of sliding against his jersey, and then the hit tack. They attacked the ball, yep. Second and five. Baxter off the pump fake, has it on the edge. A big collision last year. Yours scanning, batted up in the air, and a diving attempt incomplete worthy. A good push from the left side. And Nice job of timing this up right there just to get his hand on it. Otis knocks that down. And Sark's got another decision here on fourth down. Up here. Ewers on the move. Flips it short. Catch made. First down converted. at Sanders. And done. First and goal from the five. Play action. Ewers slant. And incomplete. It's looking right here on an RPO. Find out if the freshman's going to come down. You see him come down. Once he comes down, that tells him, okay, let's pull it. Hit that slant right behind it. Ball just a little bit high to what? Ewers. Long throw to the end zone. Off the hands of Xavier Worthy, who had a touchdown. It was a beautiful throw. And now it's fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. Just a great route. He, he's in motion before the snap. I think McKinstry thought he was going inside. He immediately puts his brakes on and goes back to the outside. You'll see him motioning. Now he comes back, caught him, really out leveraged him. Been through a lot in Austin just a couple of years. Downfield shot, launch for Worthy, and it's incoming. And they can stop the run with two safeties back. You're, you're going to have a long night. Third and seven, typically no fun for opposing offenses. A rush for Ewers has time, flips it, completes it, and a first down. Jordan Winnington. But nice job with the pocket presence. Here's your route right here, but watch, watch how Ewers kind of navigates the pocket. Doesn't panic, works it, keeps his eyes downfield. Outstanding route there on her group. Tip of the cap for holding up on third down. And Worthy, it's a backwards pass. He can throw it. Launching downfield. Contested balls are a flag. Yes. Terry and Arnold was defending. Edna Mitchell just grabbed the jersey. Downfield in a hurry. It's 6-4. Pass interference. Defense number three. It's a 15-yard penalty. It is first down. Such a focus on penalties for Alabama a year ago. 15 in the escape at Austin, most in the Saban era. Yeah, lateral, so he can throw this ball. And if you look close, you'll see, without a doubt, Arnold started to feel threatened. He does a good job right there. He grabs onto that jersey, and he does it again. And again, he held onto that for about 10 or 15 yards. I said that because that probably when you're coached to do. Thinking about that quick throw to him, got out of position just by about a half step. In Texas back in Bama territory. Ewers from the pocket. Now he'll loft one downfield. A ton of air running underneath it. Worthy's got it for a touchdown. The deep shot this offense has been seeking desperately. They strike from 44. 
What a throw by Ewers and a great read. He's looking right here to read the safety key. And if he bites up on this underneath route, he's going to take a shot. You can see how he feels. Okay, I got him where I want him. Let's put it up in the air, one on one against the freshman. And he goes to one of the top receivers in the country, worthy for a. Jaden Blue is in the backfield. He's got the ball on the edge, gets a block, and is knocked down. He was looking that direction. Here's he throws, but it's complete across the middle. And it is big Jatavian Sanders. Am I a mistake here? You bring pressure, but because of this formation, I don't know if there's a look in the middle. Look at Xavier Worthy's wide open. You got two Texas receivers wide coverage there in the middle. Playing quickly. Worthy on the edge, has a couple blocks, stutter step, burst through a crease, they are moving the stick. There in space. Worthy again. And they fake it. Worthy in the end around. Cuts underneath, thought he might take it. Watch this, watch Sanders zero go back. Now is it gonna go the other way? Look at these offensive linemen. They got nobody to block downfield. Nobody there, what a there by Arnold. Saved a huge play, maybe a tough. Oh, yeah, he had a convoy. And Worthy's in the backfield to the right of viewers on this third and fourth. Different look. They fling it to him. Creative ways to get number one the ball. Who bounces off two men. Gets a first down to the 22. Technique here by Arnold coming up at corner. And Keith, they try to use their shoulder pads. Just try to hit him. And Nick Saban wants to see you wrap up there. Kevin Steele wants to see you wrap up. Playing fast again, Brooks a swing pass. On the edge, catch made by Whittington, and he's going to be tackled. Now back in the red zone, Kirk, and another one of those critical series here as Texas would love to stretch this to a two touchdown lead with halftime approaching if they can. Be a factor as we grind on here. A lot of traffic in the backfield. Yours flips it, and it's. Broken up beautifully. Cool Aiden McKinstry came flying across to prevent what looked like a touchdown. Outstanding poise here by McKinstry because he sat back, read the quarterback's eyes. They tried to troll the entire Alabama defense to the offense's right. He stayed home, recognized the back brook slipping out. Certainly catchable, but McKinstry's speed made it a trickier proposition. Third and ten. Pressure. Ewers escapes, makes a move, and will stumble forward. I didn't get a stop, and here comes the field goal team. Yeah, they're going to bring pressure right here. Kind of rolling the dice, getting aggressive, trying to be able to affect the timing. Ewers take it. We saw him scramble for a first down earlier on that on a big third down play. This time the attack. They got a bunch of dudes in the backfield. And now Sanders motions out. Two back look. Ewers back to throw, flips it across the middle, and it's incomplete. In yard line, if this defense ever wants to step up, make a play, it's right here with a minute 48 to go before the half. Fake it, and a high throw worthy couldn't come out to Alabama with plenty of time before the break. Yeah, it shows you the confidence that he has in yours. Good pressure there. You, you, even though you don't come up with a sack, you can affect the accuracy. Gets him behind the sticks. Rushing game has not been very productive for Texas tonight. 43 on the ground. Second and 15 to get it to the perimeter quickly. This is an effective way to use Baxter. Horns have been pretty solid. On third down tonight, considering the opposition, but this is tough, needing 11. Four-man rush, Ewers steps up, flips it away. It's just over the head of Whittington, who had some space. Coming off from the right side, here's your receiver, works across. Pretty impressive by Ewers to climb this pocket. Up into the pocket, keeps it just enough time alive, and puts it up in the air. I thought Winnington at 6-1 would climb and make that play. Good. He did. Meanwhile, another crucial situation for you was to take care of the football down here. They're going to throw it on first down. They launch it one-on-one. -on -one. Going up to make the... How about yours? How about Sark calling this? Throws the football up in the air and over top of the corner. Great job.
goes at their best TV. Viewers, oh, they suck a man wide open, and it's Sanders. Eludes a man. Oh. Great job. Goes at their best TV. Viewers, oh, they suck a man wide open, and it's Sanders. Eludes a man. Oh. He's in backers with different looks. That time he slid Sanders. It opened up beautifully. The play fake. Viewers pitches it, but all over Gunnar Helm, the tight end. He's a different guy from where he was a year ago. Needs six. Keep the drive going. Pressure picked up. Worthy goes up in the end zone. Did he knock it loose? Because I thought it got over top of his hands and into the arms. I think it got over top of Amos. I mean, that would have been a great catch. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that guy that cleared his hand. And somehow today, that's great. U.S. tennis, the teenager wins her first major. They'll take it to Brooks. Yours looking across the middle, and it's incomplete. Night for Arnold, right? I mean, he's made some plays and he's made some mistakes. This time, he does a good job of reacting. Once that ball's in the air, time up four, fourth down. And they're going to try to sneak it, but push the ball. And she goes to Brooks. He, he juggled it, held on, and they moved the sticks. That ball came out. Yeah. Ball came out. He just Not it only out. is he short, that's a fumble. It, I mean, the timing of that just fell off. That ball went through his legs. Somehow, you, you got Brooks who looks down, and he, but he never had it. Never had the football. You're going to discuss whether he was down before the ball came How can loose. you be down when he didn't have it? He didn't have the, the ball. Now yours. Bad at noise. Right back to him. Weird stuff is happening. The quarterback on the reception will scamper out of bounds for fucks or taught. Just knocked the ball down. Ewers lost all this weight, so he said, I'm, I'm just going to catch it and take off and run. We Ewers has time, but it's incomplete. Try to get it to Mitchell in heavy traffic. Now it's fourth and two. Now Ewers and this Texas offense has to respond. This place is louder than it's been all night. On the pop pass, Keelan Robinson's going to be behind for the first time tonight, facing a second and seven. Viewers, he takes a downfield shot, and ball falls to the ground. There was a flag as Mitchell was going out there and just got grabbed in coverage. The second time we've seen Arnold just hold on after Mitchell's gotten behind him. Like I said, it's been an up and down night for Terry and Arnold. Pass interference on the defense, number three. 15-yard penalty. See so many of these because a 15-yard penalty is a lot better than what probably would have happened if he hadn't grabbed the receiver. Yeah, he loses his balance, but again, he's holding on to that jersey. The third quarter last year. Feels like penalties are a big factor too. Ninth for Alabama. Lewis still has it. And finds his tight end, Sanders. Big man, rumbling free. Gets a block. Stiff arm. Lowers the shoulder. What a run. Go out into the flat right here. And watch how he pulls the defense with him. Right here, those two defenders both kind of come up. Opened it up nicely right behind it. 50-yard chunk. Sets up first and goal. Play fake. Ewers, slam, touchdown, Mitchell. What a response by Texas. The freshman who's going to be a superstar, he has his eyes in the backfield. What I love here is watch Ewers wait for the right time. Let him clear the freshman, and he throws it right behind him for that touchdown. And his playmakers have been giving Bama's defense a lot of trouble in the second half. Screen. Sanders again. Tight end takes off. Look at the big man move. A flat. Well, they're behind the six now. First and 15 instead of being in Alabama territory. Brewers scampers, and that's a throw it in the ground. Nobody. Kendrick Blackshire, who's in for Marshall in the middle of this defense. Watch him sniff this out. They've heard all week about the potential. Empty backfield against the three-man rush. Ewers throws across the middle and has Jordan Whittington, and he's still going. Whittington 
breaking tackles and diving down into Alabama territory. Got away from Malachi Moore, of all people. Yeah, boy, is yours calm, cool, and collected. We've seen Texas defense have some openings in the middle. This time, yours has time. Look at the eyes. Look at the poise. The composure comes off. Sees that opening. Downs and tough to bring down. Yours again, looking to throw, and it's Baxter. Takes the flip. Back to work, and it's really showing tonight. Yours from the pocket, launching downfield. Mitchell, touchdown, Texas. Aggression and execution. 39 yards. Wow. Haymakers. And how he handles things, again, he's reading this safety. Downs. He's got receivers underneath the impact the safety. So he knows again. We saw this earlier on the left side. This time they go to the right. Creates a one on week awards. It has been a busy week, but this is the young man that called the players only meeting before practice on Tuesday to make sure the focus was there. And we have some movement before the snap and X. Second and 15, Ewers quick pass and behind AD Mid. Whenever you're taking a look right there, seems as though the ball is right behind him. He can't sell it in front of him. 15. Texas a bit out of sync to start this one offensively and defensively. Pressure on Ewers, but a clean pocket, and that's overthrown the game for Texas after a false start. All incompletions and a quick three and out. Swing pass to Keelan Robinson. Speed to burn. Gets a block by Worthy. That's one thing he loves to do. And if you take a look right here, Xavier Worthy finds a way to be physical at the point of attack. Gets Keelan Robinson an explosive play first down. for Robinson motions out. Ewers to throw. Lofts it to the end zone to JT Sanders. Overthrown incomplete. It's Texas already in four down territory. As we know, Sark likes to roll the dice. Inside the 20. This is where they need to punch it in. JT Sanders almost picked off by Wyatt Eckler. Absolutely right here. There's some pressure provided. They bring six more than Texas can block. Quinn Ewer tries to get it out fast to be able to get it to his outlet guy, not seeing that robber safety. Evaluate successful running on. Percentage of the runs that go at least five yards. It is down this season, understandably, with no Bijan and Rocha. Worthy got a block by A.D. Mitchell. Quick out. A.D. Mitchell staying up. On fourth and one, Ewers will pick it up. But we've got a whistle before the snap. And it's actually going to be a timeout on Texas. By Steve Sarkeesian to convert on fourth down. Going to play action. And that is complete to A.D. Mitchell. And that. Got him on the back end of that rotation, slowly working his way back into a more prominent role. Worthy, one man to beat. Can't beat him. For Ewers, 14th play of the drive. Ewers felt pressure, steps up, and there it is. Got her home. Will he get it? No. On the amount of plays for the Longhorns this season, Murphy in at fullback. Will he lead? They're going to go to Murphy. The oh. big boy. Byron Murphy. You get a big man touchdown, you get a big man touchdown dance. Tell us, he's the modern Roshan Johnson, but he was talking leadership skills, not skills out of the backfield. One thing he does well, we already know, he is an absolute beast. Some six, Texas still not stretching the ball down the field. Not sure if the looks are there, what's going on. Texas team already in the first three weeks of play drops and just not being on the same page if they can find a way to eliminate the drops they have more explosive plays that they can give this texas team he has got one brooks has one cook has one but this is a talented receiving core and I have another one jordan Wellington. timing right we've seen it already on the downfield passing plays and then it seems as though the expectation of the ball getting to them at that time is not what they wanted. Rely on Sabian Red and those fourth down conversions from the Wildcat. 
Good time. JT Sanders. One thing about Easton Gibbs, he is a very good and a proficient runner. They talk a lot about how well he can run sideline to sideline. Got a little handsy there. And almost a great catch by Jatavian. And sluggish starts and upsets. So this is one of those games, style points don't mean anything. Just find a way to get a dub against a solid and tough team. Ewers the floating touch and it's overthrown from Xavier Worthy. Like a first overall pick against Alabama and then coming back down to earth in this game. Yeah, I think that's been the problem of Texas over the years. It's not being able to show the consistency week in and week out. And that's starting to come up. Three receivers, bottom of the formation. And you can add Brooks down there. Ewers clean pocket, Worthy going backwards and is brought down a final see. You're looking here, offensive line provides a great pocket and time for Quinn to make a good pass. It's thrown short. Stout, especially at the defensive tackle position. Ewers throwing on the run, complete to Jordan Winnington. In short, and they have the open playbook. Steve Sarkeesian calls the flood route, gets Jay. Jordan nine, inside the 50 in the Texas offense. Another clean pocket for Ewers, and this is open for A.D. Mitchell. Remember we talked about keeping Quinn clean in the pocket. Offensive line along with Jonathan Brooks keeps it clean and pretty. Quinn. That is one of the defensive tackles that the Wyoming staff says is better than a few of the teams have in the Big 12. Ewers pump fakes. Gunner Helm. Helm is looking for his second catch. It's play for the Wyoming secondary. Yeah, get down in the red zone, trying to take a shot there, faking the screen to Jaden Blue down below. Try holding their own. Third and nine. Ewers pressured and brought down. Yeah, this is one. They just not in sync right here. We saw a little bit of this happen with Rice, where they gave up three sacks. Not necessarily from a physical getting beat physically, but rather because of not being on the same. And Brooks, back-to-back, -back, solid carries, quick toss, and Xavier Worthy, Worthy oh, is still out! The burners, the sideline, he's tough, he's fast, he's Xavier Worthy, house call! That is how you turn it around at the drop of a hat. One of the most complete playmakers in all of college football. Absolutely amazing, extremely explosive. Doesn't matter who you are, you are not catching a Xavier Worthy. You can say that. <laughs> he got his touch early in the game, the first touchdown for the Longhorns. Ewers now behind the block from Christian Jones. Pater, Quinn Ewers, the man that held the players only meeting before practice on Tuesday, picking it up at the right time, five yards and in. They allow Quinn Ewers to be able to maintain on the read option and find his way into the end zone. Even take some contact, stay up, find his way there. Huge score. And then Quinn Ewers shows you some of that emotion at the end as to why this Texas team is to be reckoned with this year. Yeah, it's his team. It shows a lot, though, how even with the early game struggles, that in some part... Off to a terrific start in 2023. Eight touchdowns, no interceptions. And a pass play on first down behind the line. Worthy is lit up exactly where you want him. Ewers on third down and long, short pass, going to hit Sanders, the tight end. He's got blockers out there, and it looks like he's got a first down at the 47-yard line. One of the things Steve Sarkeesian told us yesterday, praising his teammates blocking out in space. Yeah, and it's Jordan Whittington, the senior, that does everything with an excellent block. Also by Steve Sarkeesian in a big third down conversion. And Sark told us that everybody's grinding harder this year, starting with Quinn Ewers. Jordan Whittington on the nice design with two players in motion. And Whittington tackled at the 42 of five. As Texas is on the field, near midfield for the second time already to start this ball game. And Ewers wide open at the 40-yard line. It's caught by Worthy. Wrestled out of bounds. Stepped out at the 16, so second down and six. Ewers downfield, got a receiver open, caught at the 32-yard line for, from Georgia. Offensive line like a brick wall there protecting Quinn Ewers. Brought it out of Ewers had only 11 completions for the entire game last week against Wyoming. Almost threw a couple picks in that game. Ewers with time ball batted in the air incomplete. Gabe Hall. 
him to come off the ball like this and make something happen. And to see him working right here, and he's not going to get to the quarterback, so he's going to shut his rush down. He's 6'6", and he's got long arms per attempt. Hasn't pushed the ball down the field yet. We'll see what they do here. In trouble on first down and sacked. He never saw Mike Smith Jr. Coordinator Matt Powledge was talking about his linebacker a lot. Mike Smith, the Liberty transfer. Three years of junior college. Empty set for yours on second and long. Wide open across the middle of the field is Adonai Mitchell. And he has a first. Yours now seven of eight. Play fake. Yours setting up and dumping it off to Whittington out in space. Got the first down. Backfield almost has a fullback. Sneaks out on the play action. Easy first down. Yours gets rid of it quickly to Sanders. And there was a defender in the area. As Sanders gets belted out, Smith with the hit. And again, you see Sanders coming across the formation. Good blocking. So just a gain of one. Second down and nine with C.J. Baxter back on the field at running back. Ewers releases him. Pumps that way. And now throws, and it's incomplete. One of the skies pre-snap. Try to get Quinn Ewers uncomfortable and off his spot. From an empty set. Ewers with pressure in his face, escapes the pocket, tucks the run. Across the 25, has the first down, stays in bounds and takes it all the way into the end zone. Quinn Ewers, a 29-yard rushing touchdown. Well, they brought the pressure for Mike Smith. Smith's going to come here. And then the defensive end has got to keep contained. If you've got a pressure coming, 45, you've got to keep contained if you're Byron Vaughn. And how about the blocking down the field by Jatavion Sanders? Helps seal that edge as Quinn Ewers takes it. Position Jatavion Sanders. They had him lined up at running back. Now they shift him back tight to the line on the left side. And this may be a double pass. Worthy setting up. And he's got Sanders downfield. Sanders catches up to it. Makes the grab inside the 10. Five yards. And this is nothing new. Sark loves to utilize Xavier Worthy and the double pass game. Nobody over the top. I Watch out for a big play, a shot here. Quick change. That single coverage bottom of your screen. Instead, the ball going down the seam, and it's overthrown by yours. Sanders had two defenders on him. Couple, but they really haven't taken any on the outside. No, we haven't seen Xavier Worthy utilize that speed down the field yet. Yours quick pass across the middle to the other tight end, Gunner Helm. That hard work has really paid off early in the season. Ewers on the run, a throwback to Brooks, nice catch. First down inside the 20, breaks a tackle, keeps his feet all the way down to the seven yard line. 18 yard gain, it'll be first and goal. Boy, just kind of a boot action and screen to the backside, outstanding one-handed grab by Jonathan Brooks. Right. We're just not seeing that. Where's the spirit? First and goal for the eight, Ewers to the end zone, worthy, incomplete, but a flag gonna get an interference call here. Caden Jenkins. That's interference. Number 19, defense. Foul occurred in the end zone. The ball will be placed at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. Going at a true freshman there. Jenkins has made some plays, but this time trying to defend the great Xavier Worthy. Too much contact, Dave. Didn't see the ball, right? I never saw the ball. Contact on him. The initial push. The Buckeyes didn't work out. Transferred back to Texas. He grew up in South Lake. Throws to the sideline here. It's who he was. And boy, he has grown as a leader. Talk with Jalen Ford yesterday. This team, they're all in behind their quarterback. Going down to try to grab that was Mitchell. For some reason, he's just starting to find it out now. See what he does here on third down and six. Texas two of four on third down, 35 seconds to go. Viewers stepping up, gets hit and planted. About it right now, I would expect to see R.J. Martinez. Rough first half for the Baylor offense in general, but specifically Sawyer Robertson. Ewers downfield. What a grab, one hand. Jatavion Sanders is loose. Stiff arming at the 25. And finally, they get him out of bounds. He said, get off me to Devin Lemire. Part of that 50-yard catch and run. Well, he's working on seven Bryson Jackson. And Bryson Jackson has been suspect in coverage this year. How about the skills? One hand, no problem. Who needs two? And we talked about Jatavion Sanders after the catch. He's been so good. Man, glue. 
Ewers to the end zone, overthrown. Try to hit Sanders. And so many teachers all across this great nation shaping the minds of our youth, man. It's awesome. Ewers dumping it off here to Baxter. And a first down. Like having a defensive coordinator on the field, they've missed him the last couple of weeks. Kind of expected more physical plays like that out of Baylor tonight. Hasn't happened. Ewers in the pocket, wrapped up for a sack by Matt Jones at the 17 for a loss of four. Eight touchdown passes on the year for Ewers. None in this game. Haven't needed that because of the great rushing attack. And he lobs it downfield. What a beautiful pass. Johnny Cook with the catch and run down to the 33-yard line. What a gorgeous throw by Quinn Ewers, a gain of 50. But Quinn Ewers, the touch on this pass, working right out the center. He's just going to go right up the seam. And Lemire's eyes in the backfield looking at the quarterback. Visions with the football, not putting it in harm's way. And excellent accuracy when the ball comes out of his hand. Quinn on target. Worthy into the end zone. Another Texas touchdown. The first through the air tonight for Quinn Ewers, and he finds. All right, here we go. Just simple slant. Now, what I also want you to watch here, though, linebackers coming down. They bite on that play action. Been run the tackle spots all out of that 2022 class. Play action pass. Ewers was going to take a shot, but there was a lot of contact. The penalty flag is down. Pass interference on Illegal Mitchell. Substitution. 12 men on the field. Defense. It's a five-yard penalty. Replay first down. Very excited about those guys and still just scratching the surface of what they're capable of as Mitchell takes a little swing pass up the sidelines for another first down. At some point, it's going to yield at least one first-round pick. Calvin Banks just a sophomore as well. Here's a screen to Gunnar Helm. See a great block out there by Christian Jones. And then look at Jones running downfield. Do you see big number 70 there? Talked about with us yesterday how everybody is all in blocking downfield. Exactly right. I thought it was interesting. Kelvin Banks, he said he's actually made Christian Jones a better player. Though Banks, as you see, Christian Jones. Beautifully the last two weeks. They come up to the line quickly. Ewers over the middle. Caught first down. So calls the plays, and he's one of the very best in all of football at it. Ewers to midfield. Just a yard shy. It's Mitchell again. On standpoint, they don't have ridiculous depth, so challenging that early with tempo. They bring pressure, does Kansas. Ewers on target. First down to the 30-yard line. Mitchell, when it mattered most, had a touchdown reception in each of the last two national title games, both won by Georgia. Out wide to Worthy, and he's dumped for a loss. Came up and made a terrific play. And the two corners for Kansas, both Melo Dotson and Kobe Bryant, are excellent. Two years ago here might have been the best thing that happened to him. He walked in the next day and told his staff, I'm glad we lost. Ewers takes off running. Ewers! He will score! Touchdown! 30 yards! And the defender, J.B. Brown, he kind of just loses Ewers. He looks like he's trying to sky, trying to locate the quarterback. He kind of gets pulled outside as the running back released to the right. Ewers turns on the Jets and finds the end zone. That's a great job. Marrying run pass and making it so difficult to defend when they have all their weapons started in the game. Play fake to Brooks, and now a screen to Brooks. Breaks tackles, and is out to the 47. Too much, but Brooks is a playmaker. And Steve Sarkees, it's so good. I mean, just the misdirection. You fake the run, you think you have boot action the other way, and then boom, you go back to Brooks for a nice screen. And how about Brooks? The breaking of the tackles with Sue Bryant. That's the first thing Lance Leipold said. We have to tackle in the open field. Ewers on target again. Xavier Worthy fighting for every yard after the catch. And it's so difficult. As you can see, Melo Dotson in coverage, one-on-one. -on -one. This route is so deep. I mean, he starts to break out at 15 from the far hash. I mean, that's a... They're averaging 14 yards per play. Ewers off the hand of his intended receiver. The player of all time. Another first down. And Jordan Whittington. Jordan Whittington's just so reliable. I mean, every time it goes.
goes in his direction. He knows exactly the depth it's going to be at. He's always going to reel it in. Looked like he was feeling all that well. Second and 14. Ewers. Trying to make something out of nothing. Turned it into a gain of about a yard. Mm -hmm. Coached four first-round picks, and he says Banks will be another. Ewers under a blitz. Got it off. To Tavion Sanders chopped down. 11th play of the drive. Started at their own 16. Ewers almost intercepted. Tended for Whittington, and it was Craig Young. Rid of the ball very, very quickly this year, but sometimes he kind of predetermines this one. He throws a little early. Whittington, I think he was actually trying to throw to the receiver behind Whittington, and Young. Ohio State, at the very last minute, he was just about to start his senior season of high school football. Ewers over the head of Whittington. Difficult to block. Second and goal from the 10. Ewers, nowhere to go. And he's dropped for another loss. Defended downfield by the Jayhawks secondary. There's nothing there. You see Booker on the right-hand side. He's actually dropping there for a minute. He's done a great job at Kansas this year already. Remember them all 17 years of Lance's tenure as a head coach around college football. Out wide, Baxter trying to make a man miss, and he cannot. Ewers the fake, given plenty of time, has his man, it's Mitchell again, chopped down at the 33 by Kobe Bryant. This is a really nice round, you see the stack right there, the way they kind of time up when the guy runs through and A.D. Mitchell just sitting it down there on the... Go heavy play action, throw it over their head. Keelan Robinson was the motion man, here comes a blitz, it's out to Robinson and a good tackle. From its own 19. Next Xavier Worthy made a man miss and got eight. They're not a heavy penalized team, heavily penalized. Ewers throws on the run, batted down. Time Absolutely. Out. Texas will get the ball to open the second half. Ewers, Mitchell! First down to the line. They could have used the timeout. Unlikely they'd use all three in the last 30 seconds. Ewers. Get behind you. You have to stay on top of the deepest threat. Ewers with pressure in his face. Man open. Whittington runs out of bounds. You got to think, too. Maybe you heat him up a little bit. See if you can't knock him out of field goal range with the pressure. Take the inside handoff. Ewers intercepted for the first time in forever. Another big play. Biggest play of his Kansas career today. And his eyes are on Quinn Ewers the whole way. And Quinn Ewers staring down his receiver. And watch how Wheeler just reels right underneath that in-breaking route to intercept the pass. Just great job there by Wheeler, reading the quarterback's eyes, and those eyes will always take you where the football's going to go. After the play fake, plenty of time. Ewers deep up for grabs and incomplete. Looked like as Ewers threw it, just kind of left too much air underneath it, which allowed Melo Dotson plenty of time to kind of get closer to the wide receiver, to close the gap, timed his jump perfectly. By Dotson, his opposite corner, Kobe Bryant, gets more attention, but the coaches appreciate Dotson. His 26th career start. Ewers, looked like he might get sacked. He lunges, and he has the first proved mobility with the weight loss, a 10-yard gain. And this was a nice job by Quinn Ewers. Brought some pressure off his... Showed the numbers. I think if you're the Kansas coaches, you would be concerned about fatigue on your defense as much as they've been out there on this very hot day. The throw behind Keelan Robinson. He couldn't rescue it. He's right here, lined up at the number three. I mean, he's your third down go-to guy, especially against zone coverage. Third down and three. Texas has not punted today. Over the middle. Good catch by Mitchell. And he gets the first down. J.B. Brown the play for the Kansas defense. Six for 90. Brad Nye Mitchell. Another good pocket. Another lofty pass down the field. Incomplete. And still are. And key team leaders. Oh 
Four receivers go out into the pattern. Beautiful throw. Worthy got belted along the far sideline, but had enough for the first down with about a yard to spare. He's been in the weight room a lot the last few years and has become much more physical. And this was a great job here by Xavier Worthy, knowing exactly how far it was enough to move the chains. Extended fake by Ewers, and he is sacked. Four and a half sacks already this season for Robinson. Ewers on target again. John T. Cook after the catch. They spot the ball back at the 28. Problem with the snap. And Brooks fall. Man, this ball, I think, was snapped a little bit too early. Quinn Ewers' eyes were still working right to left, and the ball hits him right in the helmet. Didn't look like at that point he was prepared to receive the snap. Just an unfortunate miscommunication there between him and the junior, Jake Majors, the center. Loss of 15, more than midway through the third quarter now. Ewers trying to set up a screen and it falls incomplete. They get close enough to try a field goal and take a two-score lead. Ewers flushed, back over the middle. Nice catch by Mitchell. Quinn Ewers on the design roll. Lobs it back in the end zone, incomplete. The fake to Baxter, wide open receiver, look out. Xavier Worthy and Kobe Bryant able to shove him out of bounds. He's a much better player this year. With a lot of talent around him. Third and eight. End zone touchdown. Adonai Mitchell. Great job by Quinn Ewers. He keeps his eyes to the right-hand side. He sees that corner stay shallow, which gives him plenty of room to work. Big six-foot-five target. Quinn Ewers, his first touchdown pass of the day, his 10th of the season. And never losing his shot, Shane Marshall, one of the great cameramen in sports television. And a tough guy. Like Pult said, the rules then were you really can't work out with your team. You're really not supposed to watch them in the summer. Here's a screen. Baxter breaks a tackle and gets taken down from behind with a first down. Players of what they were doing on each side of the ball. Ewers on target. They're not taking the foot off the gas. But Team as good as anybody in all of college football. And they were pushed for a lot of the day. Way behind. That's going to change rapidly. They've already renovated the locker room. Texas over 600 yards of offense for the game now. Where are they? Juggling catch. And he steps across the 14 to pick up the first down. Hard to keep track who's in which conference these days. Ewers for Whittington. College football playoff aspirations. Trying to make it a more impressive win. Catch made. Mitchell diving toward the end zone. The ball came out. He's ruled down at the one yard line. In the fourth quarter, 40 yard score. Good fake by Ewers. Running for the pylon. Diving for the pylon. Touchdown. Pylon. You have a lot of questions to answer. No doubt, but now you see how Kansas's edge defender on the right hand side, Marvin Grant, the safety, he collapsed immediately. So those two backside defenders were crashing. They clearly recognized that, said, hey, Quinn, call the run play, but you're actually going to fake it and carry it out. You're the only one that's going to know that, so don't tell anybody. I, I really thought there was a potential face mask there on Oklahoma on, the, on this kickoff, but keep in mind, you mentioned the 50-50 split. Texas will start the ball on Ewers right in the heart of the OU side of the field with that crowd being a factor. Jonathan Brooks. Had a great first five games. The tailback as you get the ball immediately to Xavier Worthy. Two years ago here he scored. And makes a big tackle for a loss. Both sets of DBs will be tested in coverage and in run support today. Ewers has the football, gets it out, almost good. He did throw a pick. Right to Gentry Williams who jumped the route. Nightmare. Ewers back, look downfield, and he'll be swarmed. The short sack. Nobody open. And every offensive lineman's worst fear. On third and 13, Ewers just flips a little fluttering pass to Brooks out of the backfield, who 
That good job. You see him almost go down 80, but he forces him out of that pocket. Man, this Oklahoma defense, to think about where they were a year ago, 49 points allowed in this game. Whittington playing in his fourth edition of the Red River rivalry makes a big play. And now Ewers, he's been harassed a lot early. Tried to flip it to Brooks, kind of a sidearm throw. See the line of scrimmage at about the 48. Look at the pressure. A lot of good coverage downfield. Boy, his whole body looked like it was across the line of scrimmage. If anything, maybe just a foot staying behind the line. Deary's as they try to tie the score here. And here's a reverse, another wrinkle on the end around is Keelan Robinson. To get the ball out away from that front. Robinson and Brooks flanking yours. And a throw. Sanders tipped up in the air and intercepted. The second takeaway. Kendall Dolby. This play. Just sitting back here waiting for the potential threat right there. I think viewers at home watching it live wondered if it might be a defenseless player getting hit up high. Ball is loose, but he hits him clean below the, the neck area. So it's a clean hit, well timed. Ball goes up into the air. Dolby's there to pick it off. Now you're right, Majors has a tremendous calm about him, a great center's personality that viewers counts on. We'll have to make do. This is Whittington on the near side, makes the catch into Oklahoma territory. Adonai Mitchell to the left of the formation. Ewers is going to fake the pump and then dive forward, and they will move the six. A play fake, far pitch, and slipping a tackle is Whittington. Ewers hesitates. And that's going to be fatal for him today. He does work his way free. Dejan Terry held on for dear life. We can go into another. Watch good coverage downfield. So the front and the coverage marrying one another. So Ewers, it's not just the, the pass rush. It's the confusion with good coverage downfield. Ewers forced to hold on to the football. And then by, that, by, by doing that, you give the defensive front time to get to him. Now, Texas... The brink of squandering a great opportunity with field position. Ewers has a lot of space, but a long way to go and just has to flip it away. Beyond the line of scrimmage, 0 for 3. Looking for his first one here, and the high throw is caught for a first down across the 30-yard line by Jordan Whittington. Field, and then he gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Nice job of using that motion. And ends up getting the ball thrown to Whittington. And now a first down throw across the middle, and the catch is made by Adonai Mitchell on the field for the Longhorns to wipe away that pass. Yeah, they're going to get him. They're going to bring this back. You can see how he's using that pre-snap movement to affect this defense and their communication. It's worked back to back. This time it'll have to come back. Number 62. Kirk, you won 21 plays for the Texas off. So Texas had the fall start. Then they spend a timeout. So still first and 15. Yours changes direction. Trying to escape for his life, and he's brought down. Watch La Laulu take this away. Eight does a good job of anticipating. They ran this exact same play a week ago against Kansas, but this time it's taken away. Lost 10 yards. And yours a long throw. Catch made. Worthy. Gets back a big chunk of the yardage from second and 25. It'll be third. Oklahoma had a chance to do the same and catch their breath before this third and seven. Ball out quickly, one-handed grab made by Brooks, who fights near the first down. Right yeah, there I mean, at the marker. Watch this, the one hand, like you said, and then to dive to try to pick up that first down. It's about a yard and a half that they need. Yours on the move, flips it, touchdown! Gunner held the tight end. They turned him loose, and he makes him pay, and Texas is on top. Yeah, Gunner Helm right here, and watch how he ends up just almost, hey guys, I'm just here to block, don't mind me. Watch the quarterback rolls, look at the defense. All eyes are on the quarterback. Nobody thinks about the threat of Gunner Helm. So Sark goes against the grain here, gets it to the 6'5", 250-pound tight end, who usually is out there to block. Comes out of Cherry Creek, Billy Bowman. Play that resulted in an interception. He's not out there. Adonai Mitchell hasn't been a factor either for this passing game. No catches, one target. Down the middle. It's worthy. He's been a factor. 
pass with plenty of air. Motion affects the coverage in the back end. Watch how the safeties have to respect that. Nobody left in the middle. Ewers sees that and delivers the ball in a hurry. 109th in the nation, a touchdown percentage in the red zone. It's an area they've really emphasized. Ewers on the move. Flag is down. Catch, a catch in each of the four defense. CFP games he's played. Number 80, that penalty is declined. The result of the play was the first down. This area. Yeah, it's really a premium on Ewers' execution down here. Hasn't been a strong point so far this season. Brooks motions out. Five receivers. Ewers. Has some space, pump fakes, and is not going to fool anybody. Oklahoma, they're going to sit back in more of a zone. And doing a good job of keeping their Time eyes out. on you just in the case and final. he takes Time off. Out. And Kanek is in there. Very proud with how physical he is. Indeed. You a second down throw. It's complete across the middle. Texas got to get something going on offense. Their defense needs a rest on third and two. The catch is made by Sanders, who's back out there. Toughing it out. Watch Helm, who scored the touchdown. And to the right, look how open he is. He's got this. That shows you how much he loves Sanders. He's going to Sanders no matter what. Sanders throws a block there, but not enough to protect the quarterback for long. Ethan Downs on. Suddenly it's second and 16. Screen. And they get a few yards, about five of it back. They bring the pressure. Viewers. Steps up, thinks about running, he'll take off, no way he's going to get there. Lost the ball, he comes loose, still rolling around, and Oklahoma has it. Hit. This guy's a true freshman, it's what you fear when a quarterback takes off. Keeping the ball in tight, he did, but the freshman, who they say is a superstar in the making, comes up, unloads into Ewers and knocks that ball loose. Hill causing a lot of problems against the run game in the short pass game. Ewers from the end zone, does try to stretch the field, and wide open is Xavier Worthy. Vincent and Field, what we're talking about is they're, they're, they're taking away everything underneath, and they're collapsing down. Fourth catch for Worthy, worth 81 yards. Ewers pressured, harassed, and flushed immediately, and delivers the outlet throw to Gunnar Helm. Now getting away from this pressure right here in the middle. I mean, maybe without your leader, Lee Majors inside there, Kelly able to get in there in a... Viewers has a lot of time, which hasn't happened very often today, and delivers a long throw on the far side. And I Mitchell makes the catch. Drive, and now they got a little bit of rhythm and momentum here. Off the play fake, Viewers checks it down, Brooks again, makes a man miss. Shows the strength, and he's down near the marker. Ace, he's going to come out of the backfield. And again, this defense, well, watch the backers sink. They want to, want to make sure everything downfield, the threat of Mitchell. So that's okay. Let's make a miss. Wow. He takes has completed his last 13 passes. They'd have the fumble loss in the middle of that, but terrific rhythm throwing the ball. Another high percentage throw to Brooks. He said, just get it to him in space. And I think it's at stake. Biggest quarter these teams have played in a while. Right away. Touch by Whittington is down to the one yard line. They played quick. They got him on a slant. Right here is the culprit. Safety moves from the middle over to the hash. And a good job of recognizing that and getting the ball out quickly. Three here, play clock at four. They're trying to throw for it. Worthy! Stop short! Stand. Unbelievable. OU protecting a seven point lead. Back to work from the one. They fake it to Brooks. The flag is down. Ewers across the middle. Loops it high. Tried to get it to Whittington. Incomplete. The flag was out very yeah, quickly. It's on Mitchell. Look at motion. motion. Offense number five. Moving forward at the snap. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Catches for 17 yards for Mitchell. Ewers on first and 15. Feels pressure. Rolls back to his right and flips it. There's Whittington who makes the catch. Knocked out at the 40 for a first down. But it's out of his hands so nicely. Good job. This is where that mobility comes into play. See that safety starts to come down to appreciate the threat of Ewers. Maybe as he read. 18th consecutive completion ties Ewers with Colt McCoy. That's 19 of the new record. Whittington gets a block. And he's being wrestled down inside the 30. Balancing out this offense with viewers in his passing game. Look at the emotion. This kid plays with a lot of composure. 
They fake it to him. Yours launching downfield for Worthy. Coming back, and it's broken up beautifully by Woody Washington. There's contact there. Mm. Bill, what do you think? I mean, super slow-mo, it looks like obvious pass interference, but in real time, what do you think? Real time, I thought it was it was a good play, but watching that angle there, he got into him early with the body, even though he turned back for the ball. Worthy this time settles in the zone, makes the catch. Longer playing safety. He's now playing corner. Yours right there again finds a man open. It's worthy in space. Pick it on the man you mentioned. Yeah, they'll have safety support behind him. Playing fast. Yours looking to launch again, and now he'll just check it down. Brooks on the edge. Plows forward there in midfield. They're believing they got the Sooners defense kind of on the ropes. On the slant, Worthy makes the catch. Absorbs a hit from Bowen. Holds on. Now watch Stutzman blitz here. Good job seeing that by Ewers. Look at that vacancy right behind that blitz. Saw the collision. Bowman take it to the sidelines. And first down, Ewers is going to be swallowed up and sacked. Defensive line right through this gap right here affects the communication. He kind of gets lost there. Keep in mind now, you got the backup center, who, by the way, has done a heck of a job. This defense, something they didn't have a year ago. Worthy on the edge. Gets a couple blocks. Cuts, and that was a nice play. Does have a couple of timeouts, but only 15 seconds. They throw it underneath. A short piece. Whittington just wants to get down. Breaks free at the 40 feet. They'll spend the time. Chance to just get some yards. They can go left. They can call yep, it they'll go down. underneath there. You go. There. there you go. They use Six of them standing on the goal line waiting for the throw. Ewers hoping for time to launch. They come after him. Does step forward. Hit as he throws. A high ball near the goal line. Broke it up. Bat it down. Oklahoma wins it. Touchdown interception ratio where it is at 11-3. And he's got a strong supporting cast and receiver and running back. Ready to unleash them. Yeah, an embarrassment of riches, really. And on first down, Worthy, his top target. And to hear that he could go today. And you believe that's going to be a real key today. How that Houston middle here, done, here. plays against uh, an run support. Chikosi Blancbo would be another guy in there. And Caldwell, number 93. Those three tandems would be the guys that have to stop that upside game. Brooks wrapped up. Run support. Chikosi Blancbo would be the, another guy in there. And Caldwell, number 93. Those three tandems would be the guys that have to stop that upside game. Brooks. Whittington actually just uh, disrupted the snap. Ewers could not find the handle. Just a three-man front. Oh, they got away. Brooks got away. And he's going to have the first down, it would appear. Eh? Tackles, it's going to be a long afternoon. He checks out. Baxter has come in, and a play fake by Ewers. Goes to the check down. Mm. C.J. Baxter. Because Doug Belt, the defensive coordinator, he knows he's got a big deep. That's why he's going to the sideline right now to get a third opinion. This is a true 12th man scenario right here. This is Sark calling the play. Houston ranks 120th in third down conversion rate. That pass was tipped into the air by Waybu. And, and Doug Belt is pretty salty too, Timmy. He'll throw some funky looks. The guy that's just been getting picked on, Isaiah Hamilton, the corner boundary, he's the guy that comes in there and makes an opportunity, right? Quick out, they go right to Worthy. Look at him go down the sideline. But he had led them in tackles in that game. Yep. Watch Adonai Mitchell, Timmy, the Z receiver number five, come out here and block him on the edge, right? Great a job of just mirroring the guy. He spins him around. Didn't need to get a whole lot, right? We call those guys pencil nicks. We know about Sark being an elite play caller. Look at this. Oh, in the corner, it corner. is caught. Touchdown. Like Adonai Mitchell, and he was wide open. His fifth touchdown reception. Well, his name is special, and his mom gave it to him for a reason. He could have used some help on this one right here. Adonai, man, just got turned around to that outside of that corner. Ball thrown over his shoulder. Just a misread. Knew what he's there, man. Big time. Time to heal really helped. Mm -hmm. That open date. Brooks on the check down, taking it out of the backfield, down to the 42. Play fake. Going for Worthy. He's got wow. it. It's touchdown. Mm. 
I tell you, Brian George sitting back there, number 16. He's at the field corner this time, right? He, he looks in and just gets a beat behind, right? And that little enough is just enough to get him behind him. I mean, that's great job by Worthy. I mean, that's the reason why he's that number one receiver out there at X. That's a, he's got great speed, great length, and great understanding of where he is on the field. Ball plays perfect. Into something more conservative. Three deep, three deep. Yep. Yours flushed from the pocket, plenty of green grass. Look out. And he stopped. I think about a yard, maybe two, well, more than that. He's playing chess right now with his coverage. He had as many as four guys back, but at the snap of the ball is when they changed and gave a different look. So Gwen didn't diagnose it early enough to make his read, so that was problematic. Is that the uh, umbrella, Ella, Ella, Ella defense? Yeah. It's really about facilities and other things. Play fake again for Ewers. Plenty of time. No pressure at all with three men rushing. That pass on the check down is to... That's how you work together in Tanner. First quarter's been all Texas. Ewers with time. Yeah. There's the big fella. Jatavion with a first down. Was wide open on that previous play. Yeah, and that last play, it was actually a zone front. Look, right, Hassan Hippolyte, right, one of the stars of special team, former starter, perhaps not as sharp right now because he's not getting every down. Got caught between that coverage, and they just found the Academy put on a clinic in that first quarter. 11 of 12, 137 yards. And there's the other tight end, Gunnar Helm. Thing, man, that's that's no light matter. Third down and four for Ewers. He's in trouble, and down he goes. Well, that's Houston's first big moment. Blueberry, South Carolina. Here's Shadozi here, Timmy. Here's the matchup. This is the one we've been talking about. Jake Majors, he's a little nicked up, but he'll push in the pocket, and then the separation to get away, and then the mirror of the guy, and then get loose. I mean, it's, it looks like it's a stalemate, but any time that nose tackle or zero. With an opportunity to answer with great field position at their own 45. On the check down to Brooks. Right out of the backfield. And ahead for six, maybe seven yards on first down. These will go beyond what they have. Again, they go with that quick toss out to Xavier Worthy. Coverage so he can affect it. They're going to do it again. Yep. Look out. Ahead for at least 10 this time. That's 10 yards that doesn't come. The blocking is up front, but this is man concepts now. The safety is responsible for that third guy. You've got two out there, and one guy's going to make you miss. That's his job. A softer look, but it's because they've gotten eight yards to make. Pressure off the edge. Ewers underneath. He goes to Baxter. CJ with a shoestring tackle. Yeah, the uh, lovely guy. Ohio State D is. Uh, Here comes a safety blitz. Look out. Down he goes. Mm. I, I like this approach. Stay in a closed formation. If you do throw it, something really high percentage. Brooks, turf monster, got him at 10 on the platoon in the victory over West Virginia. Little curl going out to Worthy. 10 on the platoon in the victory over West Virginia. Little curl going out to Worthy. Yard shy of the first down to Jordan Whittington. Let's take a look at this. Yep, good catch. Good catch. It was a good catch. Third down a yard. Viewers. Oh, he he stuffed. There. He did not get there. Down and eight. Out of the shotgun with Brooks, the setback. Viewers lets it fly. It's caught. It's the tight end, Sanders. This is better, and I think it makes this team better. Fourth and two. Viewers out of the gun. Look out. That one is incomplete. Fourth. So Houston's stop is negated by that fumble, and look out. Ewers is in trouble now. Off the edge, backside pressure. Nelson says, render under Caesar. What is Caesar's? And I'll take this for negative four yards. Boy, did he push he back did, the tight he? end, Sanders. Dean Brooks the setback. Ewers underneath, check down to Brooks, and Rikers doesn't. Mm. Rushing four. Look out. Underneath, a little middle screen to Brooks. Look out. Number 24 can go. He's got the first down. You can anticipate when they're going to run those types of plays, and Brooks, they're going fast here, Timmy. Yes, so. they are. And then this one is broken up beautifully. Yes, they are. And then this one is broken up beautifully. Devin and 10. 12 personnel. They're all in tight. Yours. Again, finding his man out of the backfield, Brooks. Jonathan Brooks. Slot receiver. Jaden Blues in the game. Ewers running out of time now. Running out of time, but has a lot of green grass, and he is hammered by a Guaybu. You got that. You, you nailed it, partner. Yep. Right there. Yeah, he came in with that left shoulder.
championing his days with uh, Pete Carroll. Here's a look at what happened again on that play. Yeah, and again, it's just a guy playing with great leverage and intuition. Two defenders that he had to split there and then finds a way to stay active and get back involved in the play. He comes all the way across that double team against him at that point in time, if that's the case. And that could be an issue. Last team at the ball, kind of like West Virginia might score. Ewers' pass is overthrown. This is 3 out of 10 on third down. Ewers with time. This pass is incomplete. Mm. He got seven yards on second down, so third and short. Ewers with a quick throw to Worthy. It's off target and incomplete. USC later tonight. Texas second offensive series. Back to throw off play action is Ewers, and his pass is caught by Worthy. First down. 50th catch for Worthy this year. What's well, good protection, the hard play action. I love the route here by Xavier Worthy. You got it. You got to respect his speed and play off of shower two weeks ago when we were in Austin. <laughs> Ewers off play action, just his third pass attempt, hitting Brooks out in space. He's very dangerous. He's past the 40. Brooks into TCU territory. Inside the 30, inside the 20, Brooks stumbles, hits the pylon, and he's down at the one-yard line. And the four-yard catch and run by Jonathan Brooks. Well, this is all set up by Kelvin Banks Jr.'s initial block. And then it's off to the races. Good blocking down the field. Jadon Blue gets a nice block. Jonathan Brooks almost a touchdown huge huge play Quinn Ewers back after missing the last two games due to a shoulder injury Hasn't really thrown the ball down the field yet. Just need three yards here Ewers rolling outside earns it complete to the tight end to Tavion Sanders who hurdles a TCU defender But terrific player you talked a lot about the mismatch that he is at that position. Texas will use him in a lot of different ways. Ewers, here's the first deep shot of the game. It's well under thrown and picked off. Intercepted at the 30-yard line. Bradford running it back into Texas territory. And finally down, bubble the ball, but Texas got it back. Texas falls on it at the 35. Bradford coughing it up. It's Worthy that recovers the fumble. Texas. First down, Texas. So Millard Bradford with his second interception of the year, but makes a big mistake on the return. Well, watch Millard Bradford here. they playing center field safety over the top. Man-to-man -to -man coverage outside. Quinn Ewers never sees him. That ball hangs in the air, and Bradford's able to get the pick. I want you to watch the effort, though, from Jordan Whittington tracking down Bradford and knocking this ball loose. Tremendous effort from Jordan Whittington, a senior, a leader, and boy, his career. Viewers off play action. Throwing downfield. In stride, caught by Worthy. He stumbles down to about the 13. Throw pick on the last deep ball. Well, this time there's no safety help over the top. This is good on good. Worthy working on Josh New, one of the best corners in the Big 12. That pass could not have been delivered any better. Gain of one for Brooks, so it's second and nine from the 12. Viewer is in trouble, steps up, and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Over, in fact, two turnovers. TCU with a pick, and then they cough it up right back. Viewer is back to throw, looking, firing, and he had Mitchell, but he overthrew him. Adonai Mitchell was there, but it was an errant pass. Ewers 0 for 3 now, passing a third down as Mitchell still jawing with some of the TCU fan base. Boy, Adonai Mitchell's been so good for Texas here. How about that route? Inside out, completely throws off Avery Helm in coverage. That's just a missed opportunity for Quinn Ewers. Adonai Mitchell got open. Ewers unable to find. Deep ball, but he has good field position to start this drive after a 22-yard punt. You are setting up, lobbing to the sideline, caught by Worthy, and he's free down the right sideline and into the end zone for the Texas touchdown. The well, play action the pass, pass and it's one on one on the outside. First down, Texas, and you're going to see Xavier Worthy win against coverage from Josh Newton once again. Then Josh Newton takes a bad angle. So As Dirk he breaks on the football. You got to get him down in that spot. He stepped out, and, and Texas was celebrating. TCU's defense was coming off the field, and you could see there he was out. Still a first down, and Ewers back to throw to the sideline again through the hands of Jatavion Sanders. Now a captain for the TCU defense.
Ewers on third down and 13. And just throws it out of bounds. Some flags fly in as the receiver. Worthy maybe was held over there. Josh Newton, another captain on the TCU defense, may be the guilty man. Holding, number two, defense. Ten-yard penalty, automatic first down. So they keep the drive going. That would have been fourth down. Josh Newton, man-to-man -man coverage as he's working on Xavier Worthy pretty much all night. We've seen this matchup. Aggressive at the line of scrimmage, and he never disengaged. Never let off. 30 or more in every game. First time in Texas history they've done that through nine games. Viewers finds Worthy. Trying to get to the outside at the 10. Tackled out of bounds by a little bit of good, a little bit of bad from Quinn Ewers here in his first half. But great to see the Texas quarterback back on the field. Anything you're noticing from down there, Tom? Nine after the one yard gain by Brooks. Play fake. Ewers setting up. Gonna throw it back to Brooks. This one for a big play in the first quarter, but TCU defends it much better this time. Abe Kamara, heat on Quinn Ewers. Roy Hodge, an excellent blitzing linebacker. And Hodge is coming after him. Ewers pass over the middle. Oh, nice catch by Sanders for a first down. Might have picked it off. Gain of 19. Boy, this is excellent concentration. Havion Sanders, strong hands to catch that pass. Ewers going to throw again. Everybody covered. Ewers moving around and then just throws it away. Good job with 22. The rush for Ewers looking, and a flag comes in. Might be another hold on TCU as Ewers holding number two defense. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Well, Josh Newton's been following Xavier Worthy around all night. Wherever he goes, he's right there in his hip pocket. In the slot, been very handsy. And he gets that grab and gets that spin on Xavier Worthy. Bright future for number 52 up front for the Frogs. Two-minute mark. Each team with all of its timeouts. First and 15 for Texas at midfield. Yours to throw. And it's Worthy on the catch. A lot of cushion there from Josh Newton. Is here for Xavier Worthy. Worthy already right at 100 yards on the day receiving. Play fake, setting up Ewers, lobbing it for Sanders. And he makes the catch before getting knocked down at the 20 yard line first down in the red zone longhorns the play action pass good protection from the offensive line just an over route from jatavion i want tcu to get the ball with any time on it and he just drops the ball picks it up and throws it away worthy was in the area team Second and ten. That's Worthy in motion. They fake the pitch to him. Ewers now going to throw it to him out on the perimeter. And he's able to break a tackle inside the 15 and knocked out of bounds. And a flag comes in. Avery Helm. After TCU. the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 21. Late hit out of bounds on the defense. Back the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. It's on Bud Clark. So there's Helm knocking him out of bounds. And then, yeah, I mean, just Fully not smart. Bounds. Yeah, Bud Clark's got to be smarter than that. He's the leader on this team, one of the captains. Xavier Worthy, both feet out of bounds. You can't come up from behind and hit a guy when he's already out. Again, he has a rushing touchdown in this game. Six offensive linemen in there for Texas. They'll throw it. Ewers made. Mitchell adjusts. Makes the catch. Adonai Mitchell with his ninth touchdown of the year. And Texas extends the lead. Well, the route once again from Adonai Mitchell. Head fake inside. This pass delivered outside where only Mitchell can make a play on the football. Perfectly placed. A good strong hands to secure the catch. Hands underneath the football. Take one more look at this touchdown. Adonai Mitchell. See him just work outside. He's going to give a little head fake and then work out. And the route running by him has been so impressive throughout the course of the season. The head fake inside gets just enough. And then the ball placement from Quinn Ewers, very good. And that's just on the holder. Snap was good. 
attack, that change momentum. Now the defense has to come up with a stop. They've been on the field a lot today. Viewers. And here's Worthy again out in space. Brought down by Newton of anybody this year at Alabama week two. Alabama looks like a championship contender the way the tide have played lately. Here's year is throwing again this time Brooks. And maybe the best supporting cast around a quarterback in the country. Almost 300 yards of offense here in the first half. Viewers back to throw in trouble. Being chased and throws it away. BC. They got Texas Tech. Red Raiders starting to play better. They got a win on the road to Kansas today. Already isolated up top. Viewers looking the other way. Everybody covered. Now comes back to Worthy. And he got it to him. How is that not picked off by Josh Newton? Eight of 11. When the protection is there all day for Quinn Ewers to survey the field. It's a three-man rush. And really worthy the last option on his progression. And he zings it over just over the fingertips of Josh Newton. Now they're going to run Brooks inside the 15. Texas. This offense all season long. He's up to 10 touchdowns rushing on the season, one receiving. You'd have to think the number's got to be a lot more gaudy as Worthy makes the catch and moves the chains. Henry did that year. Mark Ingram did that year. They had ridiculous numbers. First down, Ewers looking downfield, taking a shot. Mitchell stopped running, and the pass is incomplete. Third and one, though, here for the Longhorns. And they're going to throw it in. Lose yardage. Well, I love this. Watch Camara. He's just going to come fly downhill. Recognizes Cook's going to receive the screen. From 20 plays inside uh, in Texas territory, they don't have a point, and they just turned it over on downs. Ewers throwing from the middle of his end zone, gets rid of it at the last second, going for Mitchell, and the pass is on the money. Boy, has Ewers, uh, Ewers settled down here since that interception early in the game, a pickup of 20. Boy, and good protection from the end zone. A double move there on Adonai Mitchell. Long developing play, too. Yeah, that was not a quick hitter. He's pretty confident his quarterback, though. Ewers off play action, looking downfield, and boy, Mitchell just stopped. I don't know if he thought it was a run play. He stopped at midfield. He taps his chest as if to say, that's on me. Lose yardage. Well, I love this. Watch Camara. He's just going to come fly downhill. Recognizes Cook's going to receive the screen. All season. Viewers throwing again. And Worthy. Boy, is Josh Newton had a tough time trying to cover Worthy. Another catch and a gain of 13. You know, you give him just a little bit of cushion, and that's all it takes. That route that works, that comeback, he's back, balls on him immediately. Now, I just want to sing Josh Newton's praises because he's an excellent corner, but man, he's having a tough time tonight. Aaron pass that time trying to hit Whittington, but one lost team to Oregon, which plays later tonight against USC. No upsets, though, in the top six. Worth it. Incomplete, could not come up with it, and. Bradford, who had a pick in the first half, upset that he didn't get another one. Well, it looks like Quinn Ewers really just locked in there on Xavier Worthy. I thought he had Jordan Whittington underneath for an easy first. Just taking the play clock down inside 10 seconds. Ewers, and a nice stick by Josh Newton on Baxter at the 31 to force a punt. Love Playoff the game miles. days going there. Hate that they're not eligible for postseason play. And Ewer is going to throw it on first down. Hits Chatavion Sanders. Nice open field tackle by Bradford. Xavier Worthy. Will TCU come after Ewers? Ewers from the pocket. Taking a shot. Downfield. Mitchell, what an adjustment. He pulls it in. First down, Texas. What a play by Mitchell. He's done that twice. Adjusting in mid -air. Over the shoulder, adjusts to the ball on the fly, and brings it in as he falls to the ground. Just incredible concentration on third and 12. Got to have a big play. That's exactly what Adonai Mitchell gives him. And it might have been a pitch and catch because, in part, they're without Jonathan Brooks, who tore his ACL last week, and this one goes flailing. Very high praise. The Brock Purdy of the defense, said his coaches.
Quinn Ewers to throw. That's over the middle. It's a catch for Adonai Mitchell and the touchdown maker. The State is the best third and long defense in the Big 12 this year. Ewers over the middle. The great tight end, Jatavion Sanders. Will this be the first running play for C.J. Baxter? Couple of tight ends in there. It's Ewers again, flowing to the right and throwing to his right. That's low and incomplete. That's penalties, that's kickoff return yards, all the little things. It's a second down throw after the incompletion, and it's juggled and put on the ground by Worthy. It's incomplete. They'll blow it dead. Yeah, I don't think there's ever control here. Just a one on one to the field, a little curl route. But these corners are physical. This whole defense is physical. They're the number one total defense in the Big 12. Not a surprise with Matt Campbell and John Haycock. A little bit. This is a huge third down early in this game. Ewers to Baxter. It's lit up and in the air. And that ends up on the ground. Free hitter in this scheme. The safety that's usually free in the run game. And in this case, he's got to contain the speedy true freshman. And he doesn't stop. There's certain guys, Jason, that stop and wrap. How did these Cyclones? Once a week, every week, John Haycock had the seniors for about five months, well before the season started, to keep them together, to talk to them, to inspire, to discuss. And boy, is this a together group. Pressure from Onyetum, and Ewers goes down. Games for Peterson coming into this one. Just a three-man rush. And Quinn Ewers has plenty of time, but he's going to look back at eight different defenders looking at him in zone. And this is what I'm going to be curious of, Jason. When we saw Quinn Ewers earlier this year, he ran. 13 conversions all year against him, third and seven plus. It's not a big blitzing team, Iowa State. They do come, and they do get there. Onyetum was in there once again with Gary Vaughn. It's not a blitzing team, but watch this pocket just get punctured and collapse around Quinn Ewers. Onyetum has been active. Vaughn, as you said, playing his 61st game. The Fourth first down pass tonight for Texas, and that does get to the wide side. And the do at the NFL level, and you're going to see just a nice motion here. 15 yards, get actually more of a deep out comeback, and that's one of those throws. You look at Quinn Ewers' AC play, that shoulder. How you feeling? Over and over again for an extended period without a negative play. They bank on you not being able to, and they bank on it well. Jaden Blue is in the tailback with the catch there. I Ewers on third down. Got to get to the 46, and this is nearly intercepted. Just tremendous awareness. He's going to be out here on the big tight end, but watch his eyes. Re receiver releases inside. He's got eyes to the quarterback. Vision to the quarterback. That's what elite zone defenses do, and that's what John Haycock's crew has developed in here. You can... Viewers on third down. Got to get to the 46, and this is nearly intercepted. Just tremendous awareness. He's going to be out here on the big tight end, but watch his eyes. Re receiver releases inside. He's got eyes to the quarterback. Vision to the quarterback. That's what elite zone defenses do, and that's what John Haycock's crew has developed in here. You can... Ewers scanning, running. Ewers wants to throw on the go. Flag comes in. It's into the end zone. And it's Adonai Mitchell for a touchdown if it stands. But the sophomore here, you're going to see him right here tangled up. And this is all about Dominic Orange. If Dominic Orange gives up on this play and he's a 330-pound nose tackle, there's going to be no hold. But he doesn't. And that's an excellent call. You're just tugging Jersey right in full view. Touchdown off the board. And now it's first and 20. Another self-inflicted issue for Texas. It's a throwback on the screen. It's Blue. Blue has a convoy and he's in. Both defenses live here. Pressure coming. Ewers back foot into the end zone. Incomplete. Well, these are two NFL dudes, chest to chest, hip to hip, everything, an inside vertical. And there's just no separation. 
That night, Mitchell, one of the best in the country in contested catches. Diaz feel like maybe the offense can break out. Quinn Ewers the throw. He's got it to Xavier Worthy against TJ Tampa. Some time in the injury tent. It looked like it was maybe a lower back or hip issue. He had the foot injury earlier this year, Baxter did. And this is Baxter, and he is. Ewers. Throws it far side, wide open worthy. I mean, wide open. He is inside the 30s. We'll do this, and because of that scissor combination, it frees up worthy on a beautifully timed throw. You can't do it better than that. You asked me earlier about Ewer's arm. Does it look a little different? There you go. Plant it, rip it, and give worthy the opportunity in space. I'll tell you what, Adonai Mitchell made some contact. And a nice hole there for Baxter. Ewer's loads up. This way, that center. It's exactly how Oklahoma did it earlier at BYU with a defensive play. And this is another sack. 50 pounds, 45 starts right here for the big right tackle, just one on one. And it's effort. And I'm telling you, earlier in the year, it's for Quinn Ewers. He'll ride it for a little while. Now Ewers to throw right down the middle. That's a completion and a first down and then some. It is Whittington breaking tackles to the fringe and a big hit for the Longhorns. Kind of the unsung guy. He's going to come in motion like he's running the deep over and then he stops. Just excellent timing here as another Longhorn is down. But Whittington turns the corner there. TJ Tampa turns those shoulders and th this is what you have to do. They'll break off Whittington. Blue joins Ewers in the backfield. Gwen Ewers steps up and checks it down. It is Blue out of the backfield, and he is out of bounds. Peterson has been a live wire so far tonight. Second down nine. They go empty again. Ewers with a cross. He's got Whittington, and he is torpedoed. You're not going to be here just to cover. You're going to have to come and be, as you just said, a torpedo. Miles Purchase out of Cherry Creek, a multiple, multiple state champion in Colorado. I watched him in high school, Jason, and to see how he's transformed his body into a two. Like a sumo match down there. Third down six for Quinn Ewers. Pressure coming from everywhere. Ewers steps through, floats it, and incomplete down the middle. Was he in the pocket Intention under pressure? Down. Number three, offense. It's a loss of down at the start of the foul. It will be fourth down. And to the be foul clear, includes a 10 second runoff. Yep. Please reset the game clock to seven seconds. You can use a timeout, though. Yes. Now, the duress matters if there's somebody kind of close. There wasn't here. No, you're going to see the deep post go all the way here, and the throw goes between the goalposts. So, to Dean's point, that deep post was crossing the field. I'm watching it playing right now. He said, they have to play us, too. And Texas maybe leaning into Iowa State here with some muscle. It's yours to throw, and that's a low throw that buzzes off the ground to Worthy. Second down, Ewers. Pressure right in his face. He steps up and throws, and he's got it for Worthy, who breaks outside again. Texas. Oh, much better. So stepping back, but then up into this pocket. Young quarterbacks, that's the key. Don't just get flushed. Step up into it. Only a three-man rush. We watched him in some ways sack himself earlier against that three-man rush. Not that time. There's a little bit of adjustment. Go creep up. Ewers. Fakes it to Blue, whips it out for Blue. Catch and run, and he is dragged down at the 41-yard line by the Burke second and nine. Ewers will throw far side, just the second catch. RPO again, everybody at the line of scrimmage is just running run action, that same counter action they ran earlier when Ewers knows if I've got space, if seven Verdon gives me a lane, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna sling it. Ready. Gotta snap it. Ewers to throw over the top, right there, Whittington, touchdown! For a touchdown, and you're going to see him sneak in here like he's blocking, and then he goes right by him. The advantage of fifth-year players and not true freshmen, 
is they know when their number's called. Critical in those votes. Yeah, somebody's going to have to cement it against very good competition. Quinn Ewers fades to his left and throws on the run and got it to Worthy. The ball sprang free, and it's incomplete. Because it was a beautiful flick of the wrist, but just behind and giving Verdon's big body an opportunity to rip that out and not survive the ground. That did not complete the catch, survive the ground. Third and nine, Ewers lobs it middle of the field, knocked away one-handed. That is so hard to do against the Georgia transfer, but he doesn't hook his left arm. That is teaching tape. I think Haycock is waving and saying, put that one on the reel too, please. Lisha. <laughs> First down throw, pitch and catch for Adonai Mitchell, and he's down at the 30-yard line. And he you know, if we get him second and short, they've, they've, they've been really productive. we got to do a great job, put him in second and long, and then we got to do a great job getting off the field. Thanks, Matt. Thanks so much. Can they do it here? Ewers down the sideline, Gunner Helm! Texas touchdown! Ooh. The route here for Gunner Helm, he's going to come across and then ultimately go up the field to play action, but it's his little subtle hesitation right here, Jason. It doesn't look like much. Just watch him. Look at his subtle hesitation to let the eyes clear, let the defenders clear, and then just a perfect dart from Quinn Ewers. Blocked extra point that went back to the house, and it's coming this way for two. It's Whittington. Hunter Helm with a little mini sell job there. And now Whittington, who had the big play that doesn't really go in the scrapbook. Okay, I got to do this for my guy. Just landed my lap. And it did. And here we go. Texas next possession. Gwen Ewers, Gunner Helm once more. And he done for Texas. Ewers. Deep ball down the sideline. It's short, and Mitchell got hit by Purchase as he tried to adjust. What do I have to do to get a touchdown tonight? One call back on a one-handed catch. An obvious pass interference early. Purchase is beat on the deep out and up. Texas can be a game up on everybody for one of the two spots as Quinn Ewers readies to catapult and now he throws it on a check down and he's got C.J. Baxter for a couple of yards. Looks Mitchell to the bottom of the field. Baxter up top. Quinn Ewers with time. Two throw casually to Baxter and he leans for what looks like a first down. He's on. A nice job here of just showing and going. You get in an empty, so mashing them a little bit with the run game. You come back empty versus eight in coverage. An excellent route there. The young freshman showing you a one trick pony. Able to catch it and run with the ball. Third and long. Ewers flips it out wide. Baxter is dumped. Good job. Look at right here, man, from the neck up. Watch the cornerback process the game in front of him, see exactly what's coming and deliver the tackle for loss. And now you're right in. Move their fronts, they change their coverage. Gonna try to disguise a lot here for Quinn Ewers. Second down and 10. Tech rushes three, Ewers again over the middle, wide open is worthy for the second time and he is able to squeeze his way through. Rush three, drop eight, zone coverage. And Xavier Worthy, Worthy finds the open spot in the zone, turns around, ball is on him immediately. Xavier Worthy so dynamic with the ball in his hands or when the ball is in the air. Got great speed and tough to tackle in the open space. He was hurt last week. They weren't sure early in the week whether he would play. And they weren't sure about Jatavion Sanders either. He and he takes it down near the 15-yard line. Jatavion Sanders, such a tough cover. Physicality, getting good movement up front. First and goal from just outside the 10 after the five-yard penalty. Play action pass. Space Robinson inside the five and into the end zone. What a Texas touchdown! First. Well, it starts with the motion from Jordan Whittington, a staple of what Sark wants to do. And watch Keela Robinson just going to sneak his way outside. They're going to motion over, then work his way back across. Jordan Whittington, Adonai Mitchell going to be lead blockers on the perimeter. And Keelan Robinson is an absolute jet. So much speed and explosiveness on the perimeter. And this is vintage Steve Sarkeesian. Utilizing motion, create the matchup that he wants, get the ball to his 
playmakers out in space and caps off a picturesque perfect drive to kick off this big night here in Austin. Pressure forced the poor throw. It's a big takeaway for the Longhorns. Viewers setting up off play action. And again, the receiver open in the middle of the field. Caught his first touchdown of the year and a win over Iowa State last week. Gets the catch here. Viewers on target again. Another Texas first down. Arkeesian dialing up. Seems to be hit. Six of six for Ewers. Going to work again. That time overthrows Jatavion Sanders. Ball's been coming out quick. Can Tim DeRuder dial something up and put some pressure on Quinn Ewers? Ewers gets rid of it quickly, and the catch is made. And it looks like it's going to be right at the line to gain. Brandon Lux came up with the ball, and they're going to say an interception. Worthy had the ball, and actually looked like he had made the catch, but then Lux ripped it away. And they're saying Texas Tech ball. First Julian interception for interception. Lux. First down. Some pressure Texas here. Brandon Jordan, the safety, is going to come off the edge. Let's see what this looks like. And to me, that's a catch yeah, that, by, Wor by Worthy, and then the play's over when he goes to the ground, right? That's what it looks like. Does he have complete possession? We've got Matt Austin. Matt, what do you see here? Well, I don't think the receiver ever had firm control. When he went to the ground, the ball looks like it was still loose between them. Uh, I'm not really sure if the ball touched the ground between them, but I, don't, I definitely don't think this is a catch. If the ball didn't hit the ground, this is an interception. And that's what's interesting as you were talking we had a look and it looked like that ball might have actually touched the ground this could get looked at and potentially be ruled an incompletion but at about the 35 yard line of texas tech for texas great shots from our camera crew that ball's on the ground dave texas still a chance to get in the college football playoff no team has ever made it with two losses viewers in trouble flips it downfield Tracking down, it's a gain of 22. Well, they're going to dial up the pressure. Ben Roberts coming in. And then you see Josiah Pierre trying to... Sanders can run, get it. Great throw by Quinn Ewers under pressure. And this might be a double pass. It is worthy, and it should have been picked off. It was dropped on the goal line. It's on the season. Had a crack at it. Well, they do this quite a bit. Xavier Worthy throwing a lot of double passes in his career, and this is one that Malik Dunlap, he's going to lose some sleep over. This one hits the big six. Third down and six. From the pocket, over the middle, some contact between Dunlap and Whittington. Back-to-back -back holds by the Texas Tech defense inside the 35-yard line. It's good coverage down the field, and Dunlap working one-on-one -on, -one on Jordan Whittington. A nice job by Data Ray to step right in that seven Texas. Longhorns taken over on their 26 yard line after the Red Raiders hit Pater for the first time. And Ewers throwing it out in space to Jaden Blue. The seven Texas. Longhorns taken over on their 26 yard line after the Red Raiders hit Pater for the first time. And Ewers throwing it out in space to Jaden Blue. Of last year. Had some struggles with that this season. Play action pass. You were setting up pressure on him. He sensed it, then he goes down at the 27 yard. So not on the field right now for third down and 17. Quinn Ewer is just two for his last six and 0 for two passing on third down. A short throw here to Baxter. And Baxter gets to the 20 before he's knocked down by Taylor Demerson. Jatavion Sanders is back in the game, so that's good news for the Longhorns. Ewer's throwing here. Whittington on the catch. Knocked out of bounds. Both sides of the ball built from the inside out. Yours getting rid of it here to Whittington inside the 25. Coming all the way over to this side of the field. And dumped at the 19. Another first down game. Play design from Steve Sarkeesian. Will throw back screen to Jordan Whittington. Set up perfectly the lineman mindset of this Texas football team. Yours under throw. Lux, just one on one with Adonai Mitchell. And he's trying to throw the fade. He doesn't get any air underneath the football. And I love the ball skills by Braylon Lux. He's only 5'11, but he climbs the ladder, high points the football, and gets a huge Texas Tech interception. Kerr helping with this rushing attack. Viewers throwing this tackle open in the middle of the field. 
for another first down is made. But gets 20 yards there to the 10. Again, RPO linebackers up. And a strike to Adonai Mitchell. So good in the RPO game. Play action again. Viewers dumping it up to Gunnar Hill. Bounces off one defender. Then. As he delivered that football, Adrian Taylor Dimerson just hit there. And the ball's on the ground. Ewers trying to dive on it. Remember, it'll be third and goal. Well, C.J. Baxter was not even expecting the football whatsoever. Ewers tries to put it in there at the mesh point, and Baxter wasn't even ready. Ewers to the air. Everybody covered. Throws it out of the back of the end zone as he took a shot. Open late, but Quinn Ewers unable to find him, and the pressure gets home at the end of this pass play where those sticks are. Ewers going downtown here in the first play. Incomplete. Trying to hit Worthy to go in the half. Malik Dunlap's been a good cornerback here at Texas Tech the last couple of years. Good position. So 10 seconds left. Ewers going to throw. Pressure on. Ewers gets out of there somehow. Got to get rid of it. He does. I mean, I, I guess if you want to say without Jordan Travis, Florida State. But I, I personally think Florida State's going to be just fine without him. Here's Jatavion Sanders pushed out of bounds. At, plus, you have the shock of the Jordan Travis injury and the severity of that injury happening in the moment now let's see with a week of Tate Rodemaker getting ready for the game and things will change and he'll play better as yours is slammed to the ground but just to find a way to get a stop you see a nice game worked here he's gonna loop around and able to get home good to see that from Trayvon McAlpine just continue to work continue to work you get Quinn you for but it's pretty clear these guys want to stick this thing out here tonight off play action yours in trouble grabbed and brought down coverage sack here because you know we're going to see this pressure get home late but quinn yours is surveying the field trying to find somebody come open no one comes open and it's charles esters the third a little bit of bull rush aiding the right side of his lower leg you're is gonna throw it to red and incomplete robinson as a receiver as a kick returner but kind of been running back by committee tonight dave worthy out of space as a first down. Play action pass, you are setting up. Gonna throw it short to Jaden Blue. And close to a first down. This Texas football team is very for real. Ewers finds Worthy. And Worthy reaches out for the end zone. Touchdown. Once again, finds that open grass right in front. Adrian Taylor Dimerson. Just in the conference. And they set up a screen. C.J. Baxter, the true freshman running back, waves his way down near the 20. Special call from Steve Sarkeesian, a little misdirection screen. First play of the game, the defense is going to pin their ears back very aggressive. As it filled in so beautifully these last couple weeks. Like most of the top teams, they have a lot of depth and talent. C.J. Baxter, a lot of running room. He's out of bounds. And a great block on the edge, too, by the two tight ends. Gunnar Helm, number 85, and number zero, J.T. Sanders. Basically capturing the outside shoulder and allowing Baxter to the edge. Ewers throws it. Man open in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Adonai Mitchell. Direction here from Steve Sarkeesian fakes the pitch, boots Ewers out. He gives a quick pump fake to the flat. And Adonai Mitchell creating great separation in the back end against Corey Black as the Dr. Pepper pylon cam. It's a great shot. He threw for 37 yards, and the touchdown is 18th of the year. Against a three man rush, and he lobs it out to Xavier Worthy. He may go. And they trip him up from behind. They get a bit of a rub by Cutter Helm. 
as he gets a piece of Xavier Benson, who's trying to be in coverage there in the flat. Worthy turns the corner and makes a big play and a shoestring tackle there at the end by Nicholas Martin, the leading tackler. Goal here two years ago in the title game against Baylor. Ewers. Out wide for a short gain. 3-3-5 three, three, defense. Here's some trickery. It's a flea flicker. And it works to perfection. Jatavion Sanders wide open for the touchdown. And Jatavion Sanders over here, he's just going to lately get out on the little wheel route after all the misdirection. Hand it off, and they fake the reverse. Pitch it back to Ewers. Keeps his eyes downfield. There's great job at protection holding on forever. And Sanders is wide open and route to a touchdown. Five minutes to go, first quarter. Third possession for Texas. They've scored with ease on the first two drives. And they're going to keep doing that if men are wide open like Keelan Robinson. And blues out the gate. Jordan Whittington, nifty run, and then he slipped. And is missing his third straight game. Ewers checks it down for Blue. And a late hit on from here it looked like it was out of bounds it certainly did it looked like he's on the white right there as the contacts initiated it feels like he was out before that hit was delivered so in bedlam against oklahoma three tackles for loss forced to fumble recovered one was the conference defensive player of the week viewers nine out of nine pressured for one of the few times and gets it off to Worthy. Well, it looked like it might be a loss. Turns out to be about a 10-yard gain. And this is a great job by Xavier Worthy, too. He doesn't know if he should block because yours might take off. Instead, he just holds up half second. For 30, Colin Oliver, who's been a defensive end and a linebacker to the end zone. And a flag thrown. Whittington. And that's a good call by the official. Byron Murphy came in as a blocker, and it's a touchdown. Thrown to Tavondre Sweat. Both star defensive tackles were on the field for Texas. And Sweat the catch for a 20 to 7 lead. Big fella. Let him eat at 362 pounds. A little goal line work. Spider two wide banana. And he reels it in and give me the Heisman. And they have hit Murphy in the flat multiple times this year. This time they put the big fella sweating there. He runs the corner. I would like the route to be sold maybe just a little bit more. Not great at the top of the route to create the separation, but it was unnecessary. 360 pounds reeling it in. Soft hands and a little Twisting around there. Sanders spins away, has a first down for Matt Austin. I mean, that's perplexing. At least stop it, even if they wind up upholding the call on the field. It certainly wasn't obvious that it was a catch. Long throw, that one put up for grabs by Ewers. Can Oklahoma State get a stop for the first time today? They rush four. Ewers has a man wide open again. Ananai Mitchell. He tripped up, but another huge play for the Horns. 63 yards. And this was an incredible route and so well timed by Quinn Ewers. He threw the ball initially as A.D. Mitchell was bending on the out, and then the Horns. There. Eighth already of 12 yards or more. Whittington. New. The Cyclones wound up having a solid year. Ewers. Nifty as he avoided the rush. Here, so a pivotal down for the Pokes. They rush four, and 
it's a completion for a first down. And this is a void in the zone defensively. Gunnar Helm just sits right over the middle, a little scat right 66. It's just a curl route. It's called an over the ball. Perfectly thrown and executed for the conversion. Ewers, another open receiver. It's Whittington. To the Oklahoma State 44. Holding, number 70, offense. It's a 10-yard penalty, replay first down. 47th career start. And he's engaged on the end of the line of scrimmage with Oliver, who's got great quickness. Beats him initially around the edge. You see the right arm there of Jones up around the shoulder pad and helmet neck area. Takes down another big gainer. There's still over 300 yards of offense for the game. Tight end screen to Sanders. Woo. Ending play, a strip in the second overtime, and fumble recovery. Nicholas Martin just kind of loses track of Sanders, who they hit on the screen. For three, haven't even had that many third downs. They brought a blitz, and it's an interception! Nick Martin! Slowed by yours and tackled by Xavier Worthington. And Nick Martin's eyes are in the backfield the entire way. They try to hit the shallow cross underneath. Martin steps in front. Viewers just never sees him. I mean, he throws it right to him. And the athletic linebacker, 210 pounds, shows off the speed as he's taking it back. Nearly takes it to the house and the touchdown saving tackle there for the Texas offense. And you see a little scope there on the football. If you're a sports fan, including this championship Saturday in college football. After the fake, Ewers not on the same page with Adonai Mitchell. They scored on their first four possessions, but then the interception. First time he said it would be my dream come true. Extra rushers for Oklahoma State. They don't impact the throw. They're down the hall watching film as well. Tremendous student. Winning 10. Got away from Kendall Daniel for Texas. And that's such a difficult matchup for Daniels. Whittington, look at the route inside. I mean, steps way inside. Fakes like he's going to run a slant or a post. Breaks it to the outside. The ball is well-timed by Ewers and another big gain for the Longhorn. 306 yards passing in the half for Ewers. Three touchdowns and still three and a half to go. And that one in high school. A screen, another tight end screen to Sanders, another successful tight end screen. One of the officials is marking it out at the eight-yard line. Oh, man, what a collision there. I mean, they list Worthy as we look to see if he went out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like he did right there. They list him at 172 pounds. But that right foot was out of bounds there, though, as he was turning the corner. Second down and four. Ewers oh, wide open was worthy, and the throw was just off target on the run. Sprint right option here. A.D. Mitchell on the outside. His responsibility is to create a little bit of a pick with the defenders. He does so beautifully, and Worthy is wide open. Okay. The Longhorns. Ewers into the flat. Blue has the touchdown. Four touchdown passes in a half of a Big 12 championship game. And this is such a difficult ask for Nicholas Martin. He's so speedy, but he's inside leverage. Blue runs right into the flat. Three. Took the program to a whole nother level with what he's done. Here's another screen to the left. This time it's Baxter down the sideline. They came in at their opponents converting 17% of the time on fourth down, best in the country. Keelan Robinson took three Cowboys to get him on the ground. Viewers throws it away and Ewers out of the gun on third down and five 
Short set. And it's through the hands of Blue on the near sideline. Jim, but every other throw hit those receivers in stride. Four-man rush after Ewers. Here worthy. And the crowd eerily silent to begin this second half. A lot of them still enjoying the the second to last rankings has ever made it in. That's where Texas was. But there's certainly a path to make that history. Nice catch by Blue. One handed snag of a ball behind him. They trapped it on his hip. He stepped up in the pocket, brought the defender up to him. That was Benson. Blue runs right around Benson, delivers it, and a great catch by Blue. Now worthy. And a good tackle at the 41. Third down and eight. Viewers pressure immediately and set. And Lawtu does a great job running around the right guard, DJ Campbell. Campbell sets terribly, opens his shoulders, which allows Lawtu to run right around him. Viewers sees it, tries to escape. One and two in the country this year in field goals made. 28 and 26, respectively. Neither's kicked one today. Auburn missed one. And the 19 straight field goals made. Viewers up to 388. That is his career high. His previous was 369 yards. Last year against Washington. It's also the Big 12 championship game record. They're just going to methodically continue to move and take only necessary risks at this point. Wally Gordon went to the... Cowboys locker room. He has run back onto the field. Seemed to be moving well. Adonai Mitchell dropped for a loss by Cam Smith. Much better on defense. And this has been the goal since way before the season started. Win the Big 12 championship in the last year in the conference. Beautiful throw by yours. A nice hands catch by Mitchell. And a great route by Adonai Mitchell and well timed by Ewers. Started his eyes to the right, works back to the left. 88% if the Knolls lose. So we'll hear a lot of Longhorn, all Longhorn Nation cheering for Louisville tonight in Charlotte. If Alabama wins later this afternoon against Georgia. Here's Ewers taking off running. He'll be smart to get out of bounds. Doesn't want to games with a shoulder injury. He kind of reached out for a moment with his right arm. And then he brought it back in wisely. And I know he's a great competitor, but you got to make sure you protect yourself at this situation, don't you? Yeah, and he's, he's going to take a minute, too. I mean, oh boy. Coach, what can you tell us about Quinn Ewer's injury and status for the rest of this game? He's fine. He just got the wind knocked out of him. He's back in now. You told us you wanted to showcase a complete team. How do you do that in the fourth quarter? Well, we just want to finish. We want to keep playing good football. Um, I think, you know, really they had one drive, and that came off of a, a pass interference. We gave him a short field on the turnover. Our defense has been playing good. Obviously, we've been creating explosive plays uh, offensively, and then we just got to be sound on special teams. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Mark. Well, the goal is to show off a well-rounded, talented team in all facets of the game. They're doing that again today. Giving in a career. We talk about talent everywhere. He's about as talented as there is. There's Brock Bowers and then uh, Sanders would be right there in the conversation. The great offensive line. I mean, they are deadly at all positions offensively. Third down and 11. They rush five in the end. It's a crosser for Worthy, and he didn't get to the 50-yard line. Nice play by Cale Smith, redshirt sophomore from Oklahoma City. And now Worthy's down. Wade on it and route to the locker room. Texas fans will hold their breath with the news on that injury. They go for a fourth and one. And why not Sanders? His eighth catch. They are really solid and will be a tough matchup for everyone. Ewers throws it away. Keelan Robinson, the running back, went in motion. Ewers look toward him, throws to the end zone instead for Sanders. They're in offensive line for Texas. They had all five starters back from last year. That ball deflected and fluttered through the air. Baxter has a nice game. 
Out of the pistol now, a play fake by Ewers. He was surrounded, but still managed to get it off. In. And they'll kind of start their offense in a good way, making sure everyone's involved. Sarkeesian is the play caller. The fake to Baxter, another deflected pass. Got his hands on that one. And a good job by Hampton. You see the eyes in the backfield. Texas a heavy RPO team. That's actually a called run. Ewer sees the safety come down. He decides to pull it, tries to throw it around. Third down and ten. The Huskies thought Majors, the center, was guilty of another infraction. Over the middle and incomplete. He's been much more efficient. 21 touchdowns, only six interceptions. A lot of faking. It winds up as a screen to C.J. Baxter. Again, the creativity. Yeah, they have a lot of screens in the playbook. Four man rush after Ewers. He takes off running with a lot of room and slides down with a first down. Originally committed to Texas, then decommitted to go to Ohio State. A fake in each direction, but nowhere to throw it. He uses those legs again. And Brooks became their featured running back and was one of the best in the country. Well, he tore up his knee late in the year. Jordan Whittington delivers a stiff arm, not the helmet, right off. And he'll come off the field. Whittington so strong in that stiff arm. Full extension, but... Ulofoshio is able to drag him down and rough first possession for Texas, but then they marched right down the field the last time they had it. They spread the field with five receivers. And a four-man rush, and yours goes down. And his sack numbers are not ridiculous, but his presence is always felt by the quarterback. This time working against Christian Jones, the right tackle, sets him up. Upfield slips underneath when you probably thinking screen. Huskies showing blitz. And they drop out of it. Rush three. It's a quick pass to Xavier Worthy. There's a flag down during his run after the catch. Except the penalty. A rare mistake here by Jordan Whittington. Holding offense number 13. Senior penalty for death. Senior came back for another year and has been rewarded with a trip to the college football playoff. And a great play by the corner, Jabbar Muhammad, slipping inside, just goes right around Whittington, who whiffs on the block, has to grab the jersey, and that's what results in the hold. Mexico saw more flags. Third down, 17. Ewers with a lot of time. And there's another flag thrown when you expect a holding call. It's caught. And it would be a first down for C.J. Baxter. Holding offense number 70. And penalty for down. Christian Jones gave up the sack yep. a moment ago. No question. This time. Sarkeesian, of course, a former head coach at the University of Washington for five years. His first head coaching job. Latavion Sanders. Ulofoshio, a great job of identifying this. They throw this little screen to Sanders all the time, and it's been very effective it's a bunch of time the last couple years. Ewers steps up, throws, and it's incomplete. A screen for Whittington. Texas, none against Washington. After the fake, right on target to Whittington is yours. He broke a tackle or two and made. And just a great job here. As you see the eyes in the backfield, Ewers sees it. He works Whittington on the RPO right behind it. As you can see, Fabiculon and actually triggers into the backfield he throws right behind him and with five free safeties this year but Turner's their best one and hand surgery a couple of times Ewers wants to launch one deep for Xavier Worthy and he's well covered from all four of them have been 10 yards or more 
to go. This one's 12. Ewers pressure right in his face, and the ball drifts incomplete. Xavier Worthy was breaking open, but he couldn't find the football. Carson Bruner that applied the pressure and forced the ball out of Ewers' hands really quickly. The center majors thinks he passes it off to his left guard, but he never picks up Bruner. And Worthy had a step, and if he had just a little bit more time. Ewers out of the shotgun. Quinn has another pass batted out of the air. Ewers just five out of 13 for 61 yards. In the flat, caught by Blue on the move. Scampers out of bounds with a first down. Four-man rush, well blocked. Blue is open and dropped the ball. They had the exact matchup you want if you're Texas. You have the speedy Blue who can hit 22 miles an hour working against Eula Fischio. Perfect throw by Ewers, and he just can't reel it in. Would have been a huge play for Texas. Ewers put it right on the money. It is now six out of 15. Very accurate passer ordinarily. He's on target there. Jatavion Sanders first down of the Washington 47. And second down, so they played behind the sticks on third down, and those are just low probability conversion attempts. Texas has been out game 306 to 173. But the muff punt helped. There's Sanders again lunging for the line to gain. It looks like they're going to give it to him. An excellent kicker in Bird Auburn, but they're thinking about seven, not three. His career longs 54. Ewers just did get it off. Whittington got all he could and then scampered out of bounds. To University of Sioux Falls as a player and a teammate of Kalen DeBoer. He got some pressure from a four man rush. Forcing Ewers to scamper, and as he went out of bounds, he stumbled a bit. Extends a little bit, tries to stay in bounds. Tripped himself. Trips over his own left foot. Looked like he probably would have had the line to gain. Looked like some of our crew on Bourbon Street last night. <laughs> this is third and one out of the pistol with Baxter, the running back. Ewers faked it to him. He can run for the first down. He can run for the more. And slides down, then got a hit, and here comes the flag against Asa Turner. This will be the first Washington penalty of the game. And it'll get them down around the three yard line. The Horns with 20 seconds and two timeouts. After the play, personal foul, late hit, defense for the county. After this, it's to go. First down. Wisely done by Quinn Ewers to get down. Don't take an unnecessary hit. And at that point, Ace of Turner was really. 6 4 3 24, and you flinch. Gonna be difficult to go unnoticed. 68,791 here tonight. That's a sellout in the Superdome. Adonai Mitchell he has one for seven yards. Under six minutes to go. Third down and five. Pressure. It's Trice again. Ewers just got rid of it. Floated it towards Sanders. The Alamo Bowl last year when he was the defensive MVP. And this is double A gap, but they actually, instead of walking linebackers up right over the center, they bring their best pass oh. rusher. And you might want to account for him. Especially given the fact that he's already made a few plays in the backfield. And he's still warming up with his helmet on. Just kind of felt like at some point, given it's here in New Orleans, Arch's hometown, that uh, he might get in the game at some point. Back here in New Orleans, a big story, his hometown. And Ewers had other media availabilities during the week, but still, it was an odd scene. Here's Sanders! Three with a 21-yard pickup. Great recognition from Ewers here. Man coverage from Washington, not something they do an awful lot. Hampton in coverage on Sanders, can't catch him on the shallow cross. And Texas trying to pick up the pace on offense. Wide open. Jaden Blue, nice caught. 
couple of nice moves, and all of a sudden they're down inside the 23. The ball came out, and the officials, the line judge Jim Weary, saying he was down inside the 23 with a 21-yard gain. 66 yards and penalties. They averaged 51 per game coming in, middle of the pack in the country. Here's Adonai Mitchell in ship. He scored the first touchdown of the Big 12 title game a month ago for Texas. And Ewers goes down, and it's Trice again. The defense and Penix on offense. And this is such a difficult task for DJ Campbell. He's trying to pull out, secure the backside for Quinn Ewers. Quinn Ewers steps up in the pocket. He now is seven for the year. They haven't been a big sack team. Baxter is hobbling a little bit as he went to the boundary, and he still is. Somebody studying to be a public school teacher in the state of Washington. Ewers down the sideline for Worthy. Xavier Worthy. 29-yard gain. And great recognition by Quinn Ewers. Man-to-man -man coverage against Elijah Jackson. Is that slot fade? Worthy wins, gets behind the defense. He drops it in there perfect. They're at the 16. Jaden Blue, the running back. Ewers. Dumped it down. Such an accurate passer earlier this year. 19 straight completions against Oklahoma, the school record. That one is off target. Behind Worthy, who was at the top of his route. Starting to set up the defender, and the ball was already on its way. The viewers expected him to snap his head around just a little bit faster and catch it low in the front. Of they faked it to him, and it is caught. Adonai Mitchell with yet another catch in a college football playoff game. Look for a moment like he might have jumped too early, but he still made the catch with Elijah Jackson in coverage. Perfectly placed football by Quinn Ewers, high into the back shoulder where his six foot four wide receiver on the outside can go up, time it perfectly, and reel it in. Good terrific, thing he has some hang time. Terrific execution there and a massive score for the Longhorns. All right. <laughs> Here's Ewers. They need a lot and they need it fast. Yeah. 444 in 2002 against Illinois. Ewers takes off running, will get as much as he can, which includes a first down, and then goes out of bounds. Ewers is rushed for 46 yards. The average 6.6 .6 per carry. He lost it for Sanders, caught, 31-yard line, first down. Quinn Ewers sidestepped the rush. There's a flag down in the middle of the field. A Texas player got knocked down at the 25-yard line. Defense number seven, 10 yards penalty from the end of the run, first down. By nine, they need two scores. They still have two timeouts. Jaden Blue back in at running back. Viewers to the sideline, caught. Looks on his Adonai Mitchell. He's at the top of the screen in press coverage. Let's see if they get a one-on-one -on -one look. They'll take advantage of it. And Sanders is back on the field at the left end of the line. They lob it up for Mitchell in one on one coverage. Go here and try for the onside kick. Sarkeesian hoping he doesn't have to make that decision. Wants the touchdown right here. Ewers batted down again. Mounts. Now bear in mind, Washington, statistically one of the worst pass defenses in the country in the regular season, the throw too quick. The issue in trying to disrupt the timing of the Texas release. Down the middle again, Sanders didn't seem to know that the ball was coming in his direction. Right, he's got the speed, he's in the slot there. Out to the right. Closest to the line in the three receivers to the right. Ewers lofts it up, there's single coverage, and it's caught! Jordan Whittington with Jabbar Muhammad in single coverage. 30 seconds to go, there to the Washington 28. What a catch by Whittington. No timeouts. The clock's running. They're down by six. 25 seconds to go. To the end zone and incomplete. Oh. 
When Ewers trying to take advantage of the significant mismatch that is A.D. Mitchell. Have not led tonight. Trying to take the lead in the final seconds. To the sideline. Caught by Blue. They're going to mark it in bounds. At the 12-yard line. Older catch for 16 yards. Was he in? Well, I don't know. Very close. Looked like a bit of a bobble there. He has it, but does he have firm control at that point? Wow, is that a close call? Very close. Mm. So move right here. Worthy will grab, and then Adonai Mitchell will be on the outside. Ewers dumps it off in the flat to Blue. Wow. Strange play. Five is the direction I'm looking is at the top of the screen. Second and 11 from the 13-yard line. Under 10 seconds to go. Ewers back in the end zone incomplete. Trying to get it to Mitchell. They move the tight end Sanders close to the line at the right end. He's had a huge night. He's a big target in the end zone. Ewers in trouble and just did get it off. Mish Powell came on a blitz. The Could it get any more dramatic? Mish Powell off the left side, unblocked. And Quinn Ewers just gets rid of it before that knee hits the ground. And as you can see, one second remaining on the clock. We're barring a penalty. This is it. Texas trailing all night long. One last chance to advance to the national championship game. Ewers lobs it up, and it is incomplete. Intended for Mitchell. Elijah Jackson had the 